Okay, as you can see, we are we still have not colonized the entire tile. We're getting there. Sorta, kinda. We're nowhere close. <laughs> we are absolutely nowhere close. But... Thank you, Cody, for pinning that. But, 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 we have a number of bedrooms. I forget exactly what is happening, though. I know that we've had two deaths. Ben has died. As well as Alistair. Ben and Alistair are sleeping with the fishes. I guess in this case, though, they're sleeping with horses and deer. Everybody else is still alive, but we're not in good moods, and that is because starving. My son died, badly malnourished. My lover and friend, Ben, died. Just a lot of stuff about different ideologies, but yes, for the most part, starving and starving. So the first thing I will do is tell them to dis... They don't want to consume this because it is dislike food. It contains meat. What does that mean, disliked food? Is that an ideology thing? I haven't even seen that before. Is it raw? No, it's a cooked meal. It is a cooked meal of horse meat and venison. But when I tell them to consume the meal, it just says disliked food. And same for them, disliked food. Are they vegetarians? I don't think so. The ideology doesn't specify anything about... Where would it be? Where would it be? Yeah, it doesn't specify anything whatsoever about animals. Just trees and charity. Charity and trees. Oh, horses are a venerated animal. Are they now? Why did we make horses a venerated animal? We did that? Oh, well, that's what we've got. We got, we got horse, horse food. <laughs> well, I suppose not horse food, but food made from horses. So because it's, it's a venerated animal, that's the issue. What were the last few things that happened? What is this drop in wealth? This is probably Ben's death, maybe? Oh, yes. It's coming back to me. We've had a bunch of mental breaks. Bunches. Tantrums, dazes, and deaths. Ben died to the plague by like 0.9% or something died to the plague. We had a slaughtering spree, an insulting spree, a tantrum, corpse obsessions, catatonic rages. So everyone's just in very bad moods. The end. Eight, vener <clears throat> eight venerated animal meat. What difficulty is this? This is... Strive to survive. Is what this is? Woohoo, mental breaks. Yeah, it's been fun. It hasn't been fun. <laughs> but... I'll tell you what we need to do. We need more power. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was telling you about the dogs. I'm reminded because I hear the dogs. Uh, Emmy tries to get Kuma to play with her, and she's like, Play with me. Play with me. I'm gonna bite your feet. I'm gonna bite your tail. I'm gonna bite your ears and, and also this big chunk of fur. 
and I'll bite your tail again, and I'm gonna bite your feet again, and your ears again, and <laughs> she just tortures him like that. <laughs> and he has just started doing this thing where he'll just bite her neck, and I know that sounds bad, but she's so fuzzy. She, her, her hair's like this long, and so she has like such luxur luxurious neck fur, and so he bites her neck, but what I really mean is he like just takes a chunk of her fur and is like, puppy, stop. Goodbye. He sense she likes to bite. She is, she's a nipper, yeah. She, um, likes to bite my ankles. Like, she's a literal ankle, ankle biter. But I believe that is because she has some herding dog in her. <laughs> I don't know what kind. But yeah, she definitely exhibits herding behavior. Dogs have a lot of neck skin for that reason. Uh, yeah, I know. And also, she's got so much hair. So he doesn't bite her to be malicious or anything. More like, I am annoyed with you. Stop. <laughs> He's such a gentle dog. He's so gentle. He, he like puts up with all of it. And he's like, Mom, she's torturing me again. Can you tell her to stop? <laughs> he has a way to show who's the boss. <laughs> it's funny because she obviously has all that puppy energy and is so on. And I think that she has been trying to be the dominant dog and Kuma's been like, no, I lived here first. But he, he's so gentle and timid. I, I don't know who's the dominant dog in, in this house right now. Your friends also used to play infinite fetch when the human got tired, he'd move on to, <laughs> to the next human. Puma hates playing fetch. Like, he just won't do it. In all of his... In all of his life, he has never, ever... Ever... Wanted to play fetch. But Emmy... Emmy picked it up right away. We didn't... We did not even have to teach her. She just figured it out. And now she... Now she enjoys playing fetch. Kuma seems like an NT dog, like a neurodiverse dog. <laughs> His instincts are wonky. You want me to turn the game volume up? We want to turn the volume up rather than down? You saw a study about certain dogs having ADHD traits. Really? That's interesting. You're welcome, Krumpus. Yeah, I don't know. He doesn't... He's really weird about food. As in, he doesn't... He doesn't... Eat. Like, all cr so volume up. No, Elf Twitch, no. So, for instance, Emmy, if you put anything down in front of her, she just vacuums it up. She's like, no, that was good. Thanks. Can I have more? <laughs> Meanwhile, Kuma's like, that's a bowl of food. Am I supposed to eat that? I mean, I guess it smells good, but... Can... Can we just postpone breakfast time for a few hours? Like, I don't... I don't know that I want to eat that right now. Um, no, no, it's breakfast time. Ugh, I guess I'll... Walk over and just, like, poke it with my nose. Okay, does that count? Can I... Can I go back to bed now? <laughs> 
And meanwhile, Emmy will just like, she'll vacuum her food up. And then she'll come over and just lay down next to him. And just like stare at the bowl. And her tail's like, swish, 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 swish. And she goes, squeak, 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 squeak. Can I, can I, can I take your food? <laughs> and he's like, no, this is mine. <laughs> A couple more percent wouldn't hurt. It looks loud on my end. I will I will do this though. I'll turn the music up. A wee bit. Now it's so loud. Let's try this. <laughs> alien dance. I should get alien dance. When you were a kid, you had a dog that wouldn't eat food all the way because he was... Because... Wait, he wouldn't eat all? Eat the food. All you had to say was the cat's gonna take it and the dog would vacuum. <laughs> Yeah, so we've started feeding the cat in his own his own room. I don't see it. No, I got it. Well, you know what? I do on my on my bot, but not not in my OBS chat. Um. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't care like if the cat's gonna take his food. He does sometimes. I don't know. He goes through phases where he like wants to eat and he doesn't want to eat. If we feed him the same thing for too long, he won't eat it. So we've had to buy him, like, a variety pack of food. <laughs> so he's got... Like, four or five different food types. And we, like, alternate between them so he doesn't get bored. But every now and then, he's just like... No, nope, I'm not eating this. Peepo happy. Guitar time. Yeah, I see those on my bot. They are 7 TV, though. So we have a visiting noble named Bacchus. And my mission is to keep Bacchus's mood above 50% for the duration of her stay. However, when she first arrived, moods were bad in this colony. Very, very, very bad. So I am not so certain that we're going to uh, succeed in our quest. Risling Bacchus. It is a pretty cool name. Be well, Mr. Puppy. Enjoy your day. You have three to four different types. You can try to replace the, la the one least liked with a new one when it runs out. <laughs> the things that we do for our pets. It's one of the nameless characters. She shows up in all of your games. Well, she showed up here. Hi, Sarlicia. You don't mind not eating breakfast either, but <laughs> if you don't get your lunch, you get hangry. Have a good one, Mr. Puppy. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye. 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 Yeah, he pretty consistently eats dinner, but the problem is, is, I don't know how to tell if he's hungry. Because I can ask him, like, hey, Kuma, are you hungry? And he'll all like, yeah, I am, I am, I'm excited for food, and then I'll put, I'll give him food, and he'll be like... This again? Come on, mom, can't you do better than this? <laughs> and so, now the cat's just been fed in the bedroom. Hi, Auntie Craven! We've separated him from, from them, which has been very useful. So the only animal that preys on Kuma's food is Emmy. And she's pretty good about not eating it. Like, she knows she's not supposed to. And only does so... ...when Kuma gives indications that he's done. Maybe he wants different food. I think he doesn't like the dry food that Celentre bought him. Because he's a picky dog.
very picky. So we have we have canned food. But it's very expensive canned food. So generally we'll give each of them like a half of a can. Chumley is choosing to starve rather than eat disliked food. And then the rest of it, we, we normally give them dry food. Just to kind of fluff it up a little bit. Not one or the other. And so sometimes he only wants to eat dry food. Other times he only wants to eat the wet food. He went from some fish ones to moose to elk. At first I read mouse. I was like, you can buy, you can buy cat food in mouse flavor? And the cat, like, he knows when he's going to the vet. <laughs> Zoo pandas have that problem. Like, this morning he hid under the bed and was like, I will come out for no reason whatsoever. There's nothing you can do to convince me to come out from under the bed. And then, just like, we took some freeze-dried minnows and, like, made him a little trail. Like, here, I'll just throw one minnow at you. And he's like, oh my god, fish. And then, like, put another one out. And he's like, oh, fish. And then just, like, keep placing them until he comes out from under the bed, you know? <laughs> it works really well. And for 10 years now, he always falls for this. Like, he knows. He knows what we're doing. But he just can't control his need for food. Like, I know this is a ruse. I'll curse myself later because this is a ruse. What, I'm sorry, was there a mad rat? Yeah, it's over here. I love the little mini map. I know this is a ruse, but I have to eat it. Oh, I thought it was attacking. It's up there in the corner. Hydroponics have been finished. Yeah, the minimap is awesome. I've never used it before, but I really like it. If for no other reason, I like being able to track the hostiles on the map without having to pan all around. What is Celentre doing? Shearing Alistair. Got a mod list. That is the mod list right there. Yeah. Alright, we're working on our shooting skills. GG. Shot in the liver. You don't see it, so it's a... It is a steam collection. So it, it wants to open up in Steam, but it, if you if you open it in a tab that you are signed into, shooting mice feels so nice, and then we can drop it up and feed it to the kitty cat that we don't have. Thanks, Cody. Oh, you mean you don't see the bot message? Oh. Do you not see italicized font, Grumpus? Maybe, maybe you have a setting to disable italicized font. Because my bot says everything in italics. Can you see, like, um... I literally can't think of a single command now that I'm trying to do this on command. Like, this. What do you see from that bot message that just posted? You don't see your slash me. Okay, so yeah, you, you, you must have a telesized font disabled. Just the finger, yeah. I bet you. It might be like a better Twitch TV setting or like a, a 7 TV setting. Mm 
Ooh, didn't realize we were building a bridge right here. Why did we do that? That's a weird spot for a bridge. Especially because we can make bigger bridges now. But we can also just fill this in. Probably you just messing up on your Linux install. Oh, Linux? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> if it's Linux, I have no idea. I'm sorry. No storage space for tainted clothing. Why not? Allow clothing that was once worn by a corpse. Do I have to give it the other conditions too? Like smeltable or burnable? Because I feel like we should just be able to pick up a pair of tainted pants and a parka and move them. They already finished gun turret research. These, they're knocking this out in like a day. Chum Lee is 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 causing a jailbreak right now. Maybe I have to say no. Allow fresh and rotten apparel. Why is this not? Oh, I bet you they're all restricted. No, they're not restricted. They're unrestricted. Well, how come they can't go move this to the pile, then? Um, chum -Li is a jailbreaker. chum -Li has had a mental breakdown and is going to induce prisoners to escape. This happened because Night Owl in daytime. Not because... my son died, but because Night Owl in daytime. They're way too far. Oh, here's Vandalier. Yeah, let's have Vandalier help as well. Anyways, carry on. Business as usual. Please dispatch of all prisoners. Whoa! Watch where you're putting those bullets, Solentre. Oh, yeah. Poor prisoner of ours was all. They lost their leg because of the escalator shotgun blast. They lost their eye because of Chum Lee's shotgun blast. They lost their left toe because of a shotgun blast. We have an X for both allowed burnable and allowed non burnable for the stockpile. Yeah, is that what the issue is? I have to... it still says no storage space. Oh, it was bio-coded or something. That doesn't make any sense. Because it wasn't bio-coded, but it wanted me to say allow bio-coded. Not at all bio-coded, but it's... I've never had to specify before, I don't think. Maybe I have. I don't know. I don't know anything about RimWorld. How do you even play this game? Um... Somebody wants to perform a low power test of their ship's area attack weapon. If they do, a layer of ash will be deposited in the upper atmosphere, reducing sunlight around Nana settlements for 10 days! Seriously harming the local ecosystem. You know, none of these rewards are really worth it to me. A gene pack? We, we're nowhere close to needing gene packs. We can't really use the side trainers right now. And I definitely don't need a masterwork recurve bow. Does putting it in the river destroy it faster? It does to an extent. So now it's outside. It's not under a roof and it's not indoors. So it's deteriorating faster from being unroofed and outdoors. But additionally... 
it's in shallow water and it's raining. So it's deteriorating by 40 per day. So it'll be gone within a day. This one's gonna take a while. It's at 135 out of 150. I don't know how much shallow water affects it, but things do deteriorate faster in water. Including bodies. Oh, we have an ad coming soon, TM chat. Thank you in advance for your patience. I usually burn them, but it takes work. I think it's probably about the same. Because you don't want your corpses to be seen by your colonists, right? So I have to haul them pretty far out so that their normal walking doesn't take them near the corpses. And so that can that can take a while. We recently got the mending mud, and we were destroying this unwanted clothes and getting some materials back. <laughs> yeah, I... I am tempted by the mending mod, but the reason why that I haven't done it... ...is because it feels really OP. Like, there's a reason why you can't recycle stuff in RimWorld, and I get why you should be able to. Okay, Vandalier and Chumli are just refusing to eat because of the food. I don't use it, but I'm not going to stop anybody else from using a mending mod. Maybe if I if I wasn't streaming it, I would I would use a mending mod. I, I don't know. So I am not taking this quest to have a volcanic a volcanic winter because it is springtime. And we have very little food besides the animals that we hunted. And there's still alpha beavers on the map that we should probably kill. Because they will eat all the trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nobody's cleaning. It's a downright mess in here. Alpha beavers. Mmm, alpha beaver revenge! Angry alpha beavers! Ah, the escalator! Being swarmed by angry beavers. Um, okay. <laughs> this is bad. I know the lyrics. I don't even think those are the lyrics. Play dead! Play dead. That's my best advice to you, is just play dead. Also, don't get shot. <laughs> I'm sending back up Vandalier! Okay, I'm sending these two. Wait, who's the genie? Is Vandalia the genie? We got... Ah. Oh, we didn't get... The lyrics. Fumble. I've never seen that before. We didn't get those lyrics like I thought we would. Because of angry alpha beavers. Okay, thank you. So, here's the thing. Yeah, we're gonna need you to go and rescue our colonists. So first off, the escalator is bleeding on five hours. Is Robotero a doctor? Are you a doctor? Roberto? Doctor? Nope. Mostly just, uh, you know, chumly. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna rescue and you're gonna rescue. Vandalier is dead in 12. Trees are the enemy. Hi, Not Slip, and hi, Hidden Sage. 
Any tree exists, Alpha Beaver. And I took that. I took that personally. Yeah, they they do. Take it personally. But so we killed the Alpha Beavers, so hopefully they'll stop eating our trees now. I really want to be real quick about this. Just put a band-aid on that one. Okay, now go and tend to the escalator. Hurry! We've only got four hours to live! You're thinking of Factorio, we're tree- I like the, the, the trees in Factorio, and I'm always really sad when they die from all the pollution. Okay. Everyone will be alright. Everyone will be okay. Hmm. I'm gonna have a bit of mine so I can build some more solar panels because we're not producing enough power. No, no, no. You can't only do one. You gotta do them all. Oh, how did I know we were gonna get an infection? Okay, we've been dying a lot to infections and disease, so I'm not even gonna take the risk. We're just going industrial medicine. I said industrial medicine. <laughs> oh wait, that's Chumley. The escalator needs industrial quality medicine. There we go. Now we're using the good stuff. So the, the 10 quality is going to be iffy because of... Just kidding. This is pretty good. This is pretty good quality. 10 quality, 91%. I think they'll be fine. If you grenade them, they won't die from pollution. But I like the trees. Still cannot squeeze another solar panel in here. You have to mine out a whole strip. And it's thick roof anyway! Rawr! That really makes me want to pick them up and move them. Like, over to here. Because if we did that, then I could place one here, then place one there, and we'd still have room along the side. Sometimes I, I do wish I had the Minify Everything mod just so I could do that. Rather than wasting resources, but I know why we can't. How much do they cost? They aren't that expensive. Okay, fine! I'll do it, okay? I'll move them. First, we have to wait for everyone to heal up. The escalator is doing really well. Kicking this infection's butt. We have some animals that need names. First off, a lot of alpacas. And the rats are getting a little bit out of control as well. What was that noise? I don't know if that was like the ice maker just going thwomp or if that was the dog going rough. I don't have a cilantro right here to investigate all the strange noises for me. Also, there's no cat around, which makes the strange noises even more suspicious. Regarding our quest that we have to take care of Bacchus, how do I know what her average mood is? Oh! Previous two days, 61%. So 
so does it only take into account the previous two days and not the entire stay? Because Bacchus is, is here for 19 days. Well, what did you do this for? Okay, we're supposed to take care of Bacchus, not have a social fight. You vote for dog? I should probably go see what it was, although... I think it likely was just... the Ice Maker. The escalator is running wild. The final straw? The high life is missing. Where are you even? Where'd they go? Oh, they're down here. Um, okay. <laughs> I think we have to tame them, right? Who's who's the animal handler? would be Chumley. <laughs> I guess we're gonna prioritize taming because first off, you have a really bad infection. Your infection was gonna be fine until you decided to run wild. We'll see what we can do. Come on, the escalator. You know you want to join us. We have lots of fresh meat. Fresh meat. You know what? Speaking of fresh meat, when I was playing Diablo this weekend, I started a brand new character, a druid, like I mentioned earlier. And the very first cellar that I went into, not a dungeon, but a cellar. I hadn't even been to a dungeon yet. Okay, I actually don't want you to focus on this. Lady Orca! Hello, hello! I hope you're doing well today. I, fi I did! Hi, hi, Whip! Nice to see you too! I finally met the Butcher, so my like level 5 or something druid goes into the very first cellar that, that she ventures into and <laughs> is met by the Butcher. <laughs> Hadn't even been into a dungeon yet. I didn't know the butcher could spawn in the cellar. But it spooked me. It spooked me so bad because it's got like a this sting, you know, like a, the symbols crash and then and then it's stressful music. Just it's all peaceful cellar dungeon music and then just crash of the symbols. Stressful, stressful orchestral music! I just ran. <laughs> I just ran. My level 55 necromancer has never encountered the butcher. <laughs> my, my druid might have been like level 4. <laughs> you got butcher ganked twice early on in that fashion. It was just such a, like, really game? Really? What are the chances? The butcher is neither early or late, but arrives exactly when you don't expect him. <laughs> oh no, it was... Yeah, not great. Okay, we interacted too recently with the escalator. But here's the problem. Infection. And the infection is catching up. When it comes to people running wild, you can't just arrest them, right? You have to tame them. to arrest them 
just to handle the the infection. You can arrest them, but you still have to tame them afterwards. Yeah, you can't just put them in jail and then tame them that way. I really hope this works. It did not work. It's all right. Wow, you know what? This really escalated. I don't know why I said it that way, but it was supposed to be a joke. This really escalated. Oh, don't rescue. Capture. Yeah, so the first time you run into the butcher, and if you don't know what to expect, would that... What, did you try fighting? Because if you walk into a cellar and encounter the butcher... If I didn't know... If I didn't know what who the butcher was, I might have tried fighting them thinking that, that they were... Like, just a, a part of the cellar. Like... This obviously must be the cellar boss. Do 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 do... You know what? You should probably just use industrial tech medicine. There we go. We will save your shoulder if we can. I think we might have thrown the escalator in jail just in time. Smooth escalator escalating quickly. Not so smooth. Oh, fine meals. The chronic does. Oh, did it? Did it escalate? What was it at before? I think we might need some new kidneys. But I refuse to take them from our prisoner. I, I just. I'm not about that. <laughs> You're just kidding? Well, the chronic kidney disease actually is pretty bad. Kidneys are always the first to go. I've had way too many close calls in this colony when it comes to infections and disease. We've had one colonist already die by like a less than 1% gap between infection and immunity and then like two or three animals. Can you tame them in jail? Might be why the infection got so bad. The infection was doing just fine until they decided to run wild. Unassigned prisoner. Let's just go from left to right with research because I need to build a better research bench. But I don't have an... Everything's taking so long to dig out for some weird reason. Hey, Ariel Tell. Welcome in. The liver is the first to go. The kidneys are just followers. Which organ is more likely to fail first, though? Is it the kidneys or the liver? Assuming that you don't consume a lot of alcohol or other toxins. I think I have a mod for kidneys, by the way. Not not kidneys, but organs. EPOE. There is a different mod that replaced EPOE, which is expanded prosthetics and organ engineering, which allows colonists to basically research how to build bionics and also research how to replace organs without having to take them from prisoners and or slaves or whatever. So that I don't know where that falls in the research tree because I'm I'm very used to EPOE. This one is like the mod that I used to replace it, and I, I think it's called Raw's Organ Engineering or Raw's. 
just call it Raw's Organ Engineering. That's the <laughs> Let's just call it that. You can actually probably check, though, in, in the menu here. Bionics and Surgery Expanded. Or either Expanded or Expansion. So I was not close at all. Not even close. They're just flying through the research. Oh my gosh, look at them go. There's medicine production. I'm not seeing anything about bionics. Bioregeneration, biosculpting. Xenogenetics. There should also be something like animal prosthetics. Am I just being a silly and it's like right in front of my eyes and I can't see it? Little buzzcat. Bionic Fluffy. You have redeemed Poof. Well, I have redeemed... I don't want to go Poof! <laughs> you ready? Poof. to pick up the thing. Boop. Boop. What's up, chat? This is actually kind of a hard position to hold, but I'll do my best. I don't know that I can do this for 10 minutes, though. This is delicately balanced. How have I lost weight recently? I lost about, like, 90% of my body flamethrower. Also, happy, um... Tuesday? <laughs> what day is it even? Happy Tuesday. The question is, can I stay like this for 10 minutes? Hello, hello, Tangent. There's a Jess crawling through a hole in your monitor. <laughs> It kind of does look like that, doesn't it? <laughs> ah! Reality! <sighs> I can't read chat like this. Chat is blocked. Reality is lame, don't do it. <laughs> Thanks for the hydration. Unassigned Arizona. This is a good opportunity to try converting you, isn't it? Why, yes, yes, I think so. OG Tavern Tunes. Fine by me, that's not my favorite rumor song, if I'm being honest. Buzzcat has too many channel points. Oh, whoops. 
Stop falling off! This is not really working either. I tried clipping it though, so that way it would not fall off my head, but it continues to do so. Because it's just so slippery! Yeah, we should absolutely try converting the escalator before we recruit them back again. For reasons... Those reasons are... That... Their ideology... It's really annoying because they want high life. The high life. And drugs and slaves and execution and we're not doing any of that and it's it's not helping the mood. Yeah, well did you vote for the challenge? Prison break again? The escalator's breaking out. Subdue the prisoner! Human revenge! Okay. Oh yeah, wait, Vandalier's a genie. Why do I always forget about that? What challenge? This challenge! No, don't attack Bacchus! Bacchus is the wrong person to attack. I put out a vote for a challenge game to replace Cuphead. You need a login. Yeah, you do. I had to make it uh, login required. Otherwise... Otherwise... The problem I had is that people can vote infinitely. Yeah, we're gonna move our solar panels over just a little bit. Don't replace Cuphead. What has Cuphead ever done? ever done to me to get destroyed and replaced just like that. Um, it doesn't... You know what it, it did to me? Alistair? It decided that there wasn't enough content. That's what happened. Also, hi Alistair! I actually missed your first message. You snuck in there with your sneaky cult emote. If someone actually wanted, they can create more Google accounts. Yeah, I, I mean, of course, but... If I didn't require a login, like, you could just sit there and, like, vote on repeat over and over and over again. Do I mean the bosses should have been harder? You know that it took, like, 14 streams or something to finish Cuphead, right? 15 streams? <laughs> oh, you know. I think I need a green hoodie like this. This is kind of fun. I like it just being my eyes and my nose. And a little bit of my mouth so you can hear me. Otherwise, it'd just be like... Muffle, muffle, muffle. <laughs> May you remind me who wrote the bot for it. No. No, you may not. <laughs> How was your day today, Alistair? You were having free food and beer. Were you at a party? Were you partying without us? I wasn't invited to the party? Buzzcat wants free food and beer. At the very least, I want the free food. <laughs> oh, 
Another bot wrote the bot. Yeah, um, ChatGPT wrote it first. I was actually trying to get ChatGPT to help me out with something the other day, and it failed me. Specifically, I was attempting... Consuming a fine meal. Okay, after that, work on this. I was trying to do something in, in HTML code. I don't even know if that was the right way to say that. In I was trying to do something in HTML. Basically, I was trying to program the thingy so that in HTML, bullet points weren't left aligned in, like, a, a text box. All I was trying to center the text and, like, center... or, like, move the bullet points over so they were right next to the words. So, like, bullet point one, option one, bullet point two, option two. But it was instead putting all the bullet points on the left and then, like, the... the the bits that were beyond the bullet points were just weirdly centered in the middle of the box. By the way, it's been 10 minutes. And... Yeah, that's what ChatGPT kept telling me. <laughs> that's what it kept telling me. And I was just like, okay, thanks, but can you tell me how to do this without CSS? Sure, here's how you do this without CSS. And I'm like, ChatGPT, you broke it. And I was like, sorry, here, um, I, I know how to fix it. All you need to do is write all of this code in CSS. Just rewrite these blocks in CSS. And I'm like, ChatGPT, this doesn't support CSS. I can only use HTML. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Here's how you do it in HTML. Nuh-uh. Alpaca 3 has burned to death. Alpaca 3 was just... Struck by lightning! Alpaca 3 was struck by lightning. JGPT is not what most people think it is. I mean, it's been helpful. I've actually used it for a lot of coding and troubleshooting help. And it's been useful. So it was awesome! PhD Students Day, so he spent a day listening to first year PhD students suffering through presenting their work. Then you diligently want a game where you had to find info and posters and get free food and beer. Cool! That sounds like a nice day. Yeah, struck by lightning and then ate by a pig. Right? Mm hmm. Yeah, I know, Alistair. HTML is the logical structure and CSS is the styling. <laughs> You're a little jealous of a pack of three. You want to be struck by lightning? Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I need you to, to build this. I'm sorry. I know. I know you want to sleep and it's daytime. Actually, it's about nighttime. Nighttime is the right time for Chum Lee. It's an aspiration of yours to be struck by lightning. Also, it's party time. We're gonna let the party happen. We are letting the party happen because everybody needs a better mood. Party is finished. Chumli, back to building. We can't. We're missing steel. We are? That's problematic. You probably suffer more after, but you get to experience less before. Supporting CSS in HTML. I mean, maybe, maybe it would support that. Either way, I think I'm, I need to do it. I have just no idea how to how to use CSS though. I am familiar with HTML because of like MySpace days. I... I used to do all kinds of crazy stuff with HTML. 
on my MySpace. But CSS, I'm I'm not so familiar with it. I remember like when I when I would do things on my MySpace page, I would I would have like a shell and just tweak it all from there. I actually really missed that. That was really cool. I liked how you could just make a page and it was like your own little web page inside MySpace. What was I trying to do? I'm, I was trying to just write some info. For a thing that I can't disclose right this moment. But I was trying really, really hard to just fix the styling. And I came to the conclusion that it doesn't work. But I can't disclose it. Yet. Probing on the web is running past you so fast you feel bad at it now. Why pigs? Beca oh, because Alpaca 3 got struck by lightning and died, and then was instantly eaten by a pig. That's why, Buzzcat. <laughs> Generally, you have your HTML file and a file next to it that's CSS. Then you reference the CSS within the HTML. So, yeah, I I know that because I've had many a conversation with ChatGPT about this. But... Cilantro was telling me about an AI programming tool. It's like GitHub's AI thingy. Can that teach you how to do HTML and CSS? It's like the programming buddy. The amount of mad animals we've had attack this colony is kind of maddening in and of itself. Where's Slentry at? There's a mad rat in the building. Okay, where are all the others? Testing italics. Crumpus, I see your italics. Wow, oh, very nice miss. It works, but it was definitely a miss. So there's another rat inside the base. Right there. Because this door is still held open. Who forgot to shut the door? <laughs> this rat is just attacking pigs. Oh, man. <laughs> it's an elusive rat, that's for sure. Okay, got that one. Let's see if we can get down here to attack these. Hiya, Nightbird! Thank you so much for the tier 1 subscription for 9 months! That's a Twitch baby! Happy 9 months, Nightbird. Welcome back. Thank you so much for the support. Happy Tuesday. Only two more mad rats remain. I'm going to ignore them. You have a font you like more, but it still doesn't have italics. Then you'll never be able to read italicized font, which is a slash me on Twitch and kind of useful to read. It took you a while to get used to CSS and to do layout and design elements after HTML for a lot of the years previously. You usually just stick to the basics of it, even though... Of it... Mm, the basics of it, even though... I can't read. <laughs> even now, when you don't know a lot of clever stuff it can do. What I've been doing is just throwing it into ChatGPT and saying, Okay, ChatGPT. I want this code to do this thing. And it's like, okay, human. Here's how you do this. Thanks, ChatGPT. Lovely working with you. 
that's how it goes. Copilot is kind of meh. Worse than ChatGPT, and Millie just auto-completes and can't explain itself. I really, I really do like how it explains the code. If nothing else, there's that, because, like, I can look at... I can look at all that code, but there's so much of it that I don't understand. Like, why is this here? And I can ask it to exp... Like, I, that's what I do. I Sometimes I'll just highlight a block of code and be like, Explain to me! Oh, mighty chat GPT, what does this code do? Which really has been quite helpful. Just did your 2500 Fitbit steps while cooking a chili. <laughs> nice, it's better than nothing. It used to just render italics as regular font. We need to figure out how to get that back. I have no idea. The good news is CSS is a lot easier than it used to be. You don't have to worry about weird centering tricks or IE... What is IE5? Flex... What is Flexbox? Yeah, I, I will say it's not the best at writing the code. Maybe it's that I don't know how to explain my issues with the code. I'm gonna slaughter my rats. Because there's just too many of them. They kind of gross me out a little bit. It could, it could just be I'm not very good at explaining my... what I want. The chat GPT. Are these wild rats? No, they are pets. Conversion! Chumli! Successfully converted our prisoner. So I will recruit them now. Oh, Internet Explorer 5, duh. Buggy as heck and did things totally differently from other browsers at the time. Hi, Drolly! Who the humans would become so productive? We don't have time or the ability to interact with one another. <laughs> Converted the prisoner into beans. I mean, if our ideology is filled with beans, then sure. We're so productive, we can hang out on Twitch chatting about AIs. There you go. I'm actually learning coding. Because I can't... Watch a video on it. Oh, Bacchus, get out of here. GG. What, what's your mood been for the last two days? Do we need to round up? Hold on to you for a few more days? 63%. Get on out of here. Bacchus had to have a mood of over 50% for the duration of the stay, but it's only giving me the average of two days, so hopefully that counts. Quest completed! Nice! Our relationship went up to 31. Also, there's a Link Sitting quest. Cosmos Ruas, a knight of the Grey Empire, is making a request. He wants you to take care of his favorite pet, the Link's Petulia. Petulia. His favorite pet. His favorite Petulia. For 16 days, he's suffering from paralytic ablasia and must be kept in bed. Okay. No unreserved animal bed in a safe temperature. Okay, now rescue them. Poor baby bobcat. A lynx is not a bobcat, right? It's just a lynx. It's a baby lynx. Yeah, so it's been it's been kind of cool learning the coding. 
I have a really hard time like reading about it or watching videos or teaching myself and also reading about it because <laughs> it's just like so boring. So being able to like take code and throw it into the into the bot and have have the bot tell me tell me the stuff and the things it's been good. I think I do like the rooms with those couple of wall pieces removed. I believe I took this one out. And this one. And this one and this one. A bobcat is a lynx, but not all lynxes are bobcats. Today I learned... Do you remember the days of IE versus Netscape? I think I used Netscape. I don't really remember, to be honest, actually. TBH, don't remember. So it seems like we needed one solar panel to tie up our our power grid. Or to do the opposite, actually. Untie up the power grid. So whenever we succeed in converting the escalator to our ideology, I will release them from jail and then go back to trying to tame them. The Lost Travelers. This is a refugee quest. A, a charity quest. Of course it is. Her and other desperate refugees are approaching. They say their caravan was ambushed. Everything was taken. Burr begs you for permission to stay at Nano Settlement for 14 days to rest and regroup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... I feel like the, this save is bugged because we've had so many of these. We are, like, the place that refugees go. They are apparently spreading the word. We have Fur and Isis. Fur... Fur... Fur and Isis. <laughs> A Neanderthal and a baseliner. Uh, Fur is quite good at social and animals and is a cannibal. I think they're gonna eat us. I think that's probably gonna happen. Ooh, we got a warden. We have two wardens in the, in the house. Neither one of them will clean. Of course they won't. Actually, we could maybe put them on tailoring. I know that we have tainted apparel, or sorry, tattered apparel. We could use pants. Mostly just pants. Make them all out of anything. You sense a betrayal. Hi, some foo fooey. They won't clean because they plan on making a mess. I know. I sense a betrayal coming, but we have to take it. Because... Because of the ideology. We have to take a charitable quest. They also... They already finished the research project? No, I canceled it by accident. Hi, Thyronim. Long time no see. Short lurking high and also short question you're forwarding. Will I be in Paris as well? Um, no. Sadly, I can't afford to go. I, I can't afford to go, but I am going to TwitchCon NA. I really wanted to go to Paris, but yeah. Too, too expensive. Can't, can't afford. But I hope you've been well, Thyronim. It's really nice to see you. Sweet. We just might get some new recruits. We need to figure out the deal with the bionics and stuff. Where's even prosthetics? We can follow prosthetics down 
the line. Do you see it, chat? Prosthetics? Medical emergency? A heart attack? Oh no, our prisoner's having a heart attack! Doctor! Hold on a second. Okay. Hi there, Tovenator! You cannot afford any Twitch cons. They're not cheap. And Paris is also, like, a really big tourist destination, and it's expensive there, so it, yeah, it's a it's a pricey a pricey con. It is far cheaper to get to NA than EU. Yes, I have family in, in Vegas, but also Vegas is a city that like this is where people go. To you know, like Vegas is cheap. Except if you're on the strip. It is not cheap on the strip. But everywhere else, Vegas is is cheap. How are you doing, Tovenator? Are you still having a heart attack? You're using up all our medicine. You're kind of finish. You can't complain much. How about me? I am also kind of finish. I'm going to run out of heal roots soon. Okay, I guess we should maybe collect some more along the map, right? Well, I was fully grown. There are nine million or five teenagers in your house. <laughs> I'm sure it feels like nine million. You could probably afford Vegas if you could get someone to share a room with you. Yeah. The longer you go, the more expensive it's gonna get. I would try to organize it, like, soon TM. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're slowly going insane. Is my hair glowing, or is it the light? It's the light. It is... magenta purple color. But... Yeah, it's also the light behind me. Weird. A person had a heart attack just being chill and at rest, and not when they're getting shot at with a shotgun. <laughs> Shot fun. <laughs> yeah, they do that. Heart attacks, I don't see very often, but they do happen. All this rice is going to deteriorate. It's been out here for a long time. It's because nobody's on hauling. Mm, thanks, Lyronim. They each do one large, one medium, and one small chore in your house, and if they spend more than 12 hours... <laughs> you have a hard time coming up with enough chores on a daily basis? Why are there so many teenagers around? Why so many? Oh yeah, we were trying to find prosthetics in the list of things. I feel like it's supposed to be right here. I do not see... prosthetics... or bionics... Or animal bionics. I wonder if this mod changed that. Enable rejection system is my only option. It has three tabs? Oh my gosh, it does. Why aren't we researching that? Jeez. It totally does have three tabs. That's rude. The information has been there all along. You have one and they keep acquiring more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
all you have to do is bully them into eating your food and show them love and they won't go away. Yeah, I used to, you know, in high school, I would stay at my friend's house all the time. But not just because of food and stuff, but because they were, they lived very, very close to my school. Like, super close. They were in the neighborhood, like, right next to my school. So it was the perfect place to go chill. Especially because they had a little shortcut, like, from from their neighborhood onto the sports fields and stuff, so... We could just, like, show up to our practices and things, because we were on the same teams. Also convenient. You know, like, one minute before it was supposed to start. Or, like, when we ran track... We had some, you know, track assignments to go run, like, ten miles, and we'd be like, Okay, coach, you got it. So we just run to her house and <laughs> How long does it take to run 10 miles? Um, an hour? Okay. <laughs> we didn't do that all the time, just sometimes. On the really cold days, like it's it's not fun to run in the cold. Apparently buying each kid safe food and keeping it in stock when they come over when they come by is weird they don't even have safe foods at their own homes yeah what is a safe food uh by the way there is a caravan all the way down here why do they always insist on going to the worst spots can i send fur to do the trade because fur has a social skill of 16. It humps, it humps, it humps. He might be dead. Poor health. Why are, why are we in poor health? Kidoki, let's see. I'm gonna take your medicine if I can. Probably not because I have literally zero money. I can sell you. Four ambrosia and two knives for $59 and buy myself two medicine in exchange. Thanks. Hey, okay, bye. Hi, George. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, Nightbird, you did. There's somebody in this in this caravan named Humps. Or Hump or something. How's it going, George? You get that people have allergies or sensitivities, but safe food seems like a first word problem. I think it depends on... on what Tovenator means. But also... I kind of get it. Like, we have... We have so many icky foods. Like, just really icky. They're, like, technically edible, but in the long term, very bad for you. Like, anything that is drowning in high fructose corn syrup and sugar. And also, like, weird ingredients. And preservatives and, and... You know, just all that. Food that you prefer to eat that doesn't make them feel gross and won't make your stomach upset? Or upset your neurodivergencies. Yeah, I know I know what you mean. It's nice that you offer those foods to them. I'm really hoping that my food sensitivity test comes back in time for my, my doctor's appointment on Friday. I've gone back to removing gluten from my diet again, and like I've been feeling better. It's hard to say if it's from if, if it's from removing gluten or if it's just something else, you know. Hopefully, definitive answer soon. Tm.
Some of these children aren't allowed to eat food in their own home without asking? What, really? Isis believes that she is happy at Nato Settlement and she wishes to join us permanently. Isis. Isis is kind, incapable of dumb labor. Good with social, good with crafting, okay with cooking, and okay with art. Has no intellect, barely even heard of having intellect, and barely even heard of shooting. Beca oh, because she's a Neanderthal. This feels offensive to be bad at intellect because you're a Neanderthal, but okay, I will accept you. Okay, well, maybe Fur wants to betray us, but it doesn't look like Isis wants to. So, chat, you know what that means? If you're not already in the name raffle, you should get in there with an exclamation join or an exclamation enter. And there's currently an ad going. So, I'll type it in the chat. I meant to type that as a slash announcement. There. That's a thing for teens. I mean, I never had to ask for food, but that's... Yeah. That's not very cool. Be happy you found vegan mayo. Finally, you can make some nice things without breaking your stomach and egg allergy. Yeah, there's actually some pretty good vegan mayo out there. Hi, Iams. Is my base two Pac-Man kissing? <laughs> I think that's what we agreed on it. Yeah. I think we decided that it looked like two Pac-Man kissing. Okay, the ad's over. If you missed the announcement, there's a name available for the raffling. You can type exclamation join to enter. What am I going to do in this in the center of the base here? It could almost make a chimney, but it doesn't. Do you need to fill it in? One of your spooters? Yeah, I don't know. I got like a, a an insect bite on my finger, and it was all red and swollen for like two weeks, and now it's finally starting to heal. But there's a big white dot in the center. And chat told me that sounds like a spider bite. That's what chat said. Sounds like you got bitten by a spider. The raffling. Sounds like a horror movie. Time to join the raffling. Only the strongest will survive. But actually, let's type exclamation pick. Meep. Isis is now. Meep. Welcome to the colony, Ella. I think it might be time to make ourselves some weapons. Melee weapons, in fact. I've been very focused on trying to keep the colony from imploding, and we have not really made any progress on, on a lot of things, actually. Nope. No, we haven't. <laughs> Five-year-old needing permission makes sense, but it's weird when they're older. Yeah, I mean, how do you learn to make decisions for yourself in that case? How do you learn to take care of your own needs? Carl has life-threatening malnutrition.
You want children to feel safe in your house if they're autistic. You want them to not have a panic attack if they're food insecure. You want them to feel secure. If they have eating disorders... And you want to have high-calorie foods that they want to eat around. You want food to be safe. That's really nice of you, Tova. It's really nice of you to provide a safe space. In, in the way that you're able to. We're gonna get some animal bionics because we, cur we have a, a pig in here that is incapacitated because they're missing three legs. And we could build them legs and get that pig back up and, and running. Or probably walking? The escalator is sleeping on the floor next to their bed. The escalator is a prisoner. Because he decided that he wanted to run wild. And as punishment... As punishment for running wild, we had to arrest him. So that he can suffer. This is sounding worse than I'm meaning it to. Basically what I'm trying to say is he ran wild and he had a really bad infection in his arm. So I captured him so that we could treat the infection and he wouldn't die. And now we're just trying to convert him to a different ideology because his ideology requires drug use, slavery, and execution, which is very anti our, our um, ideology. Which, you know, other ideologies is fine. In fact, our ideology supports having a diversity of beliefs, but it's kind of it's kind of weird to have somebody who wants to imprison slash execute everyone and also is upset when there are no drugs. So I'm using it as an opportunity to convert them. I don't know how far along we are. Not very far. Nope. Mm -mm. Apparently we need to make the room worse. He escalated. He did. So yeah, I was trying to make some sort of snarky comment like... He ran wild and his punishment was being imprisoned and treated with fine medicine so that he would not die. Uh, it didn't... it didn't come out. <laughs> oh, it's no longer Pig, it is now Peg. Oh, we're definitely gonna name this Pig Peg. That's a good name. You think a wasp or bee sting is way more likely than a spooter bite? Um, but I didn't even feel it. Like, if I was stung by a wasp or a bee, I think I would have noticed. Or so I would like to think. Two of your bio child's friends are homeless and slept there for two nights a week. <laughs> so they roll they roll through they roll through for food. Like you are a soup kitchen. Well I mean you kinda are, right? You're you're helping support their needs. Which is really great. It's really great and really kind, like being able to to help these kids like find security. It's a really important need. Like food and shelter are like the fundamental needs to be met in order to like be psychologically okay. You think I would notice a spider bite too if it took two weeks to heal? Well, I did notice it. I didn't notice when this happened though. At first I thought it was a pimple because it showed up like all big and nasty like a pimple would. But this is a really weird spot for a pimple like on my finger. First off, it's on my finger, like on an extremity which lends credence to the to the hypothesis that this is a spider bite. Uh, but then uh, the world does need more Tovenators, I agree. And a new recruit! Yay! New recruit. Do 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 new recruit. Um yeah, so first it was all big and red and gnarly, and then it, like, shrunk down, but kind of was a little depressed in the center and got, like, a big spot. 
which also kind of look like a pimple, except not quite. Like, if you think about a pimple that's, like, got a bunch of, like, goopy pus in it, it's what it looked like without the goopy pus. Because I did poke at it a lot and realized, like, no, that's... This is not a pimple. This is some sort of inflamed incident. <laughs> An incident of inflammation. And, yeah, it's still there. But now it's got... Like, it's still all red and everything, but there's just a big... Like, whitish-yellow spot right in the center. I, I would try to show you, but yeah, like I said, it's not gonna... Oh, wait! I don't know if I can do that. Let's see. If we can make everything, like, really dark, it might work. I need to repaint my nails. Come on, camera, you can do it! Focus! Yeah, you see my finger? Insect bite! It looks like a bed bug or a midge bite. But bed bugs tend to bite you in, like, groups of three. Also, I don't... Don't don't mention bed bugs, please. No bed bugs. That's how spiders do you. Mosquito bites are horse. I I would I would believe in in mosquitoes, but I've never had a mosquito bite look like this. It looks like a gnarly spider bite. <laughs> Assassin bugs? I don't know. I think I would have noticed a horsefly bite. I've been bitten by a horsefly before, and I... <laughs> Actually, this was back when I was... When I was a... A kid. Like, under the age of 10. And I was outside... Okay, hold on. I, I forgot that I need to put food in here for them. For them being the animals. I, I forgot that I turned off food storage. Um... I was outside playing with my my friends and I had shorts on and a horsefly crawled up my shorts and bit me on the inner thigh and I remember just being like what is that? I, I think we were playing basketball. I like dropped the basketball, just like grabbed my shorts and like pulled them over a little bit so I could stick my hand in there and I just remember grabbing the whole horsefly and just chucking it. <laughs> Like, I, I have, this is like a very, very strong memory of mine, just being like, oh, that hurt. <laughs> That's the only time I've ever been bitten by a horsefly because it hurts so bad. I feel bad for horses, although they do have much thicker skin. It probably hurt as bad as it did because, like, your inner thigh is so tender. You get bitten by spiders four times a year? That's a lot of year to get bitten by spider. They're no joke, you'd rather have surgery again. I, 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 like, I still remember it. Like, out of all the times I've hurt myself in my life, or been hurt, like, the horsefly is in top five memories. If I see a horsefly, I book it. Like, ah, uh, nope. Nope, not me. Nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> ah, the rats are getting out of control. I don't want to kill the babies. Whoops. But, but, but yeah. Oh. So, okay, I'm gonna look up an assassin bug bite. I don't even know what an assassin bug is. Reduvide. Okay, everything you need to know about assassin bug bites in picture format.
Where do they occur? Like everywhere? Oh, kissing bugs. They're also called kissing bugs. Yeah, we do have we do have kissing bugs in like the, the southern and western US. Oh. Never mind. No, assassin bugs and kissing bugs are not the same thing. Or are they? No, they are. looks like. I'm looking at pictures of assassin... assassin bug fights. That's not what this looks like. Hello, Admiral Akmir! How's the colony? I think it's going alright. I think it's going okay. And much better than it was last week. You were eating ribs and somehow you got sauce everywhere, even on your monitor. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, they're... they're... they're all over. Hi, Duvakeen! What was the other suggestion? A midge bite or a bug? A bed bug? I don't think we have bed bugs because I think I would have noticed. It doesn't look like this either. I'm still going with spider bite. Pet bugs like to bite you in groups of three. Like one, two, three. One, two, three. No bed bugs. No. Please no. You would put hydrocortisone on it. I did early on. It's like, it's pretty healed. Except for the whole like... Big welt with the depressed yellow cinder thingy. Yeah, it definitely looks like a spider bite. Mm hmm. Yeah. It doesn't look like all the spider bites, but you know, I am just putting a generic spider bite picture into Google and. <laughs> You know. Ew, some spider bites are nasty. Yeah, this looks like a spider bite. I, I've been bitten by a spider! You're paranoid about bed bugs when you travel? Me too. Your house was infested when you bought it, and my finger isn't what the bed bug bites. Doesn't look like it, even if you're allergic. <laughs> you check every week because of paranoia. Uh, I think the only time I think I have had issues with bed bugs is when I was traveling. And... And there, I think there were bed bugs. I just noticed the bite pattern. But it was at a hostel, so I think that checks out. Does it have two clear fang entry points? Well, not all of them do, right? Like, some, some spiders are really small. It could have just been a teeny tiny spider. I'm not even looking at the game. <clears throat> Stuff happened. Oh! Fur wants to join us too! Am I gonna turn into spider... Spider woman? Hi, Hoffa! Apparently so. Chat seems to think I'm turning into spider woman. Yellow sack spider? Hi, Matt Sophia. How come I never play wizard with a gun anymore? Because I finished the demo. I finished the demo. Bedbugs are like all over the place. 
You'd be surprised how common they are. I'm trying to look at a picture of this spider, spider's bite, but I can't find one. I mean, it kind of looks like this at times, actually. It kind of does look like this bite, but these are only in the northeastern US and eastern Canada, so maybe something like it. Okay, I think it is a confirmed spider bite. Teeny tiny spiders can't break the skin? I think that I guess they can. They do get misdiagnosed all the time, yeah. Google is not the best place to look for spider bite pictures. <laughs> Their friend of yours got, got bed bugs from the library? Ah, oh, gross. And now, now you're itching all over. Yeah, how's your week going? <laughs> Fur believes that she too would be happy at Nautil Settlement and wishes to join us permanently. Okie dokie. Betrayal reward. Nebulous wants us to betray everybody. Nebulous is just the worst. This is the third or fourth time Nebulous has tried to get me to betray somebody. Yeah, betrayal offer. Nebulous. Betrayal offer. Nebulous. Betrayal offer. Nebulous. Nebulous. Just get it in your mind. I'm not going to turn on people. Fabio has contacted you 14 days ago. You helped him in desperate circumstances. Since then, he's been back on his feet and now wants to reward you properly for your help. He is sending you four Archite capsules. Via drop pod. What is an Archite capsule? A small capsule containing Archites. Thanks, Rimworld. Microscopic machines produced by super intelligent Archotech. These devices are capable of physical and psychic feats which seem impossible to human scientists. As with all Arco technology, no human can create one. We can only try to scavenge the ones that Architects create for their own unfathomable reasons. The capsule is useless by itself, but it can be spent at a gene assembler to create a new archite powered xenogerm. This requires researching archogenetics in a gene pack that contains an archite gene. A xenogerm is a self-contained biological organ containing one or more implantable xenogenes. Okay. So, future Rimworld stuff. I haven't even messed with... with biotech's stuff. When it, when it comes to... Hold on a second. We have, like, a bunch of people who are good at social now. Yeah, Fur has a 16 social. <laughs> Hearing loss. Okay, I guess I can see why trade prices are affected, because you can't actually hear the prices. What was I just saying before I went through all these menus? Hello, Commander Rudd. Hi, chat. For reasons totally unrelated to the recent mysterious bite I got, I am rebranding as Spider Jess. Spider Jess. Spider Jess. Have I ever done voice acting? I have an awesome voice. You know how often I hear that, Lady Orca? If I had, like, a dollar for every time someone asked me that question, I would have a lot of dollars. <laughs> I don't even- I don't know how you get started with voice acting. Like, I- I know that the... Realistically, there are things that you can do to get started. Or, like, to get good at voice acting, but I don't know how you... Like, get your foot in the door, or like, what's the first steps to being a voice actor or actress? 
Okay, for everything else, we need a high-tech research bench. But we should be able to make some, like, pig peg legs now. So, we're running out of things to research, but we'll just keep going down the line. First step, have a voice. Check. If I had a dollar every time someone brought it up, I wouldn't need to do voice acting. Hmm. If I had a dollar every time I've been asked, I'd have enough money to hire an agent. <laughs> Maybe not that much money. Maybe not that much. Okay, so we have two more names for our colonists. So... Vien? Vien, I guess, is now going to be called Wit. Welcome to the colony, Wit. And her... It's gonna be Imes. Welcome to the colony. So I need to arrange everybody by respective ability. First off, Roberto's non-violent. Wit has a five in shooting, so I think you go right here. Yep. And Imes has a nine in shooting, which is better than everybody. So we should probably play... Swap the guns. Who are you? Let's see, Imes. You are a kind, yet lazy cannibal. Incapable of caring or cleaning. With a 9 in shooting, a 10 in animals with a double passion, a 6 in crafting, and a 16 in social. Wit is a lazy pessimist and capable of intellect. Um, of the, the pigskin xenotype. Really, really enjoys animals and art, but also has passions for crafting and cooking. And... Who else is new? Meep? Meep is just kind and incapable of dumb labor. Has burning passions for crafting and social, and minor passions for art and cooking. So this is quite an eclectic lot that we just picked up. We got a base liner, plus a pigskin, plus Neanderthal. So now we have a colony of a genie, a pigskin, a Neanderthal, and four base liners. A diverse group. <laughs> Why aren't I doing voice acting or at least reading books for Audible? Because nobody ever asked? <laughs> I have had people request that I do record audiobooks though. But not like professionally, just... Just like a generalized request. You're the friendly greeter of a cannibal colony for guests. You are indeed. Who was fur? Imes was fur? Our socialites. All on the way to trade. I think a good question is why is nobody planting the Devil Strand? I guess we need to get I'm some ears. <gasps> we'll take all my alpacas. Okay, let's buy let's take everything that we can. And then see what we need to sell in order to afford it. So first off, food, because we just had a huge influx of colonists. So, <gasps> bison. Bison are intermediate trainability. Right? You can't even train them, you put them in a pen. But we can shear them for fur, I think, and maybe milk? Bison wool? Bison. Okay, that's a lot of money, but... I think it'll be alright. Especially because I'm gonna sell all this. A lot of poor quality clothing. Alright. So we've already offset the costs considerably. But look what else we've got tons of. We have some mega sloth wool. We have fox fur. We have camel hide. We have pig skin. We've got heavy fur. I'm selling the small stacks first because they're taking up space in my stockpiles. 
And I can't make a completed anything out of how much that we have. So we either have to make patch leather or it just sits there. We could sell the blue fur. And the muffalo wool because we have plenty of alpaca wool. We will be getting bison wool from the bisons I'm trying to buy. And we could also sell you light leather. So we have plain leather and alpaca wool. And also a lot of cloth. Take some cloth. Take like 150 of it. Minus 150 of it. Okay, we have pigs. Pigs, 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 pigs. We've got... Two pregnant female alpacas that don't have names. I'll sell those. We've also got... Two young and alpacas that I'll sell. I can't afford to feed all these animals right now. Mm -mm. Sell the pigs. Sell a piglet. No, we have three baby alpacas. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay. Good trade. Lots of food and stuff. Okay, not a rock, though. Don't- don't haul a rock. And we now have pet bisons and pegs. Did I sell pegs? No, I didn't sell peg. No, I want to fix peg. But we also gotta adjust some work priorities. Yeah, this is just a mess. Let's train up Wit on cooking. Wit also likes to handle. The lunch tray likes to handle, but I won't have you do that right now. Let's say... These two, Solentre and Meep do basics. Solentre is cleaning currently. All right, Meep is going to smith, tailor, and craft, warden, and child care. So Lentre is doing basics, crafting, cleaning, and, and the like, tailoring when there's time. Wit is handling, cooking, maybe, hunting. Well, I guess I want to do that in the other order. Like that. Calling and baby cleaning? It's a, it's a lot of work to get done, but let's mark you as a two for cleaning. Chum Lee is the doctor. Mark you up on childcare. Construction, growing. We need more builders, don't we? You know who builds? The escalator builds. The escalator builds. It reminds you of a tragic chicken explosion you had. They multiplied unchecked and winter came and 90% of them died from starvation. Poor chickens! You got an ad for wrapping woodland creatures. <laughs> Hi, Capybara. Nice to see you. Most of the bison that were left in the US were from a private collection of a man named Charles Gnight. He was trying to make cattle bison hybrids to sell his beef. We might not have bison if not for him. So, what you're saying is, they're a very limited gene pool of bison. That's what I'm hearing. So, that's right, does have an, interesting, an interest in construction. So, I guess we should work on training it. Okay, break. In the meantime, we'll work on converting the escalator to... Where do I see your... <gasps> Ugh, the certainty is still... Are they not even talking to them?
I don't even think they're trying to do a conversion. Wait, that's Chumley. Maybe I can't convert a wild man. Perhaps they have to be tamed before they can they can be converted. All right, Vandalier. I don't know why you have two weapons. I don't know how to make you drop them. Okay, there we go. So I'ms take the bolt action. Vandalier, take the shotgun. There should be another pump shotgun for wit, and then we need the smithy to be built. But for the smithy, we need steel. We've got one. One steel. Just one. A royal chippy collector. I shall not give them my gold, because I have none, or my prisoner. Nope, nope, nope. We need one, two, three helmets. Steel is required. Yeah, so I did not know that about bison. For some reason, for a long time, I thought they were extinct. And I don't know why. Yeah, I think I do like this room set up a little bit better, so we could do that for all of these rooms. Don't ask me what we're going to do with the center layer. I don't know. Are there two groups? Who's this? A bulk good trader. We just traded with them, right? Oh yeah, Meep should probably just stay, like... ...generally... I don't really have a good zone for that. I need to update my... update my zones. Zones. Expand, hide. Because that includes all of this now. Yeah, let's keep Meep there after, I guess, we complete... Where'd Meep go? Wait, haul... No, we'll never do hauling. Yeah, I'm going to restrain Meep due to the only having, like, one leg thing? No, wait, it's not Meep. Who is it? Wit? Yeah, okay. Wit is being restrained to, generally speaking, the immediate colony. ...on account of missing a leg and being very slow. I cannot rescue you if something happens. I'm not really sure how to use simple sidearms. I'm kind of just figuring it out on the fly. Okay, let's see. Are we able to... We are able to convert them. I don't have a religious leader or a cult leader or whatever to be able to do the conversion thingy. They only have two people who follow our ideology. Even though the game says I... The role is unfulfilled. I, oh no, I do have enough. Just kidding. I guess we need to do that. We are never, ever, ever gonna convert you. Unless we make your room hideous. The escalator's happy in there. Happy!
And the happier they are, the harder it is to convert them. And they're kind of important because I think they were my my miner. Or you no, know, we're Birdo mines too. But right now everybody's hauling stuff. Do we have any ideology rituals to convert people? I'm sure we do, Antique Raven, but I don't have a space for ideology rituals. I need to make one, but I need them to finish mining first. You see the problem? Somehow so many people, yet nothing gets done. A heat wave. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn off all these heaters. Turn off all the heaters? That should be good. Maybe. We still have a passive cooler? Oh my gosh. A super old school. Our bison are parked. I'm just parking the bison. Lundra tried to convert Chum Li to her own religion. Chum Li's certainty has fallen from 100% to 97% and resents the conversion attempt. Okay, that's a lot of steel. That should be enough to finish doing stuff and things. Passive coolers don't go offline. That's true. But the problem is... With this lot, they don't like to cut down trees. Bandoliers often make helmets. Slentry's repairing stuff. Yes! Repair botched. You can fail repairs. Today I learned. For some reason I thought repairs were just guaranteed. Ooh. That's a lot of steel. Like a triple vein? You're so close. You've almost got it all. Ta-da! Nope. Yeah, I thought... I thought for some reason that it would be okay. It was not okay. Yeah, I guess I'll keep the cooler Thank around. You. Actually, Sorry. like a whole lot of nothing is happening. Despite having so many people, a whole lot of nothing is happening. Uh, we just got back from a break. I ate some snack. Why wasn't she subbed, subbed already? Because she doesn't sub, I guess. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. We got three new colonists today. Imes and Wit and Meep. Three whole colonists. We had two refugees join us. We took on a... Where are they? Yes, we took on a refugee quest. The Lost Travelers. Their caravan was ambushed and everything was taken. So Fur and Isis came to stay with us and during that time, they both requested to join. So we accepted, despite them being, like, not the best colonists. Um, this was actually a prisoner. Imes was fur. Doesn't do medical. Will not clean. Will haul, though. And Meep was also in that group. Kind, but incapable of dumb labor. Also is a Neanderthal, and so has no intellect. Um, and then Wit was our prisoner that we... We captured a pig skin and is missing a leg and an eye. 15 social is nothing to sniff, sniff at, though. Yeah, exactly. Chum Lee has pretty good social, but it is not a level 15. Okay, well, it's level 7. That's not as good as I thought. Vandalier's over here with 20 in intellect, though. Jeez. 
So, that's pretty much where we're at with that. The escalator chose to run wild, though. And was jailed due to an infection that he had. So we arrested him, took him to jail, so we could heal him up. And now that he's here, I'm kind of trying to convert him. But his certainty in his previous ideology is so high. So it's taking a while. I'm just researching everything in the tree because I don't have a high-tech research bench. Hi, KB Doom. I hope you enjoy the mod list. It's on Steam. The escalator escalates. Yeah, look at the certainty. It dropped to 75%. I think the problem we're having, now that I consider this more closely, is that Chumley is the only one that can do conversion rituals. Sorry, not conversion rituals, but um, do the converting. Because Meep and Imes are both of the Archic Doctrine. And thanks so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. They're kind of... they're Yeah, they're transhumanists, I was going to say. So neither one of them were able to convert the escalator. So it's up the Chumli. The escalator escalates. It's super effective. And so now they're in prison. They've escalated to... Wild Man. Yeah, you know what? I think we're probably going to want to increase our meals, right? We have seven people. Means we need 28 meals a day. Yeah, we're probably going to want to do until we have... I don't know, like 60? That's my backup build. Cook simple meals, 15 of 20. You must convert Imes immediately so that she can convert everyone else. Imes does have... Uh, like a fairly high global certainty loss factor. That's an idea. How do I convert them? I can't convert them unless, unless, unless we have a conversion ritual, huh? <laughs> Make everyone not a cult of Unity members. I know. I know, we'll need to. So I guess if that's the case, what we should do is probably... Build some doors. How about wooden doors? Because we have lots of wood and yeah. Let's turn this into a room. You know what kind of room I'm talking about. The room where all the cult rituals go on. Okay, we have way more steel than I thought. It's all down here. <laughs> Oops. So, how do I make... A room for this stuff. I forget. It's been a really long time. So I think we want to make... Let's make plate armor. Okay, we can assign someone to the role of... The, uh, we can also select a ritual spot. I guess I could just make a ritual spot. For some reason, I thought we had to have, like, a whole throne room thing going on in order to do this. I think I'm mixing up royalty and ideology, though. Ritual spot. Uh, bonk. Begin a role change. Okay, this is far easier than I expected. Role changer is gonna be Chumley. They're gonna become the rightfulest... Hold... Okay, rightfulest? Cult isn't istist. Yes, we'll gain the ability to convert, which is what we need. We need a spiritual guide to convert other pawns outside of prison. Yeah. 
We can also use it for pawns in prison. I don't know why I thought we needed like a whole room. Right. Not a cultist, just doesn't this. Successful role change. Woohoo! That should help with moves slightly. So I was just not doing that for no good reason. <laughs> Chumley wants a cape. Vandalier has a cape, don't you? I need to borrow that. And by borrow, I mean I need to take it. Sorry. You can tell them to romance somebody since when can you do that? Colt definitely isn't estesist. Alistair licked you. Gross. Gross. Slept in the heat. Yeah, well, we all can't sleep in air conditioning. Since biotech, I didn't really play much of, of biotech. I mean, I played some, but... Not like I played ideology. I also didn't play too much of royalty. It was either 1.4 or biotech. That lets you tell pawns to romance each other. Yeah, I had no idea. So we're just gonna do... Must be a non-wild human. Okay. Never mind. We totally need to turn Imes into our, like, our leader. Is there success doing these rituals? Does that have anything to do with their social skill? You just need a ritual spot, but the quality and beauty of a room makes a difference for conversion rituals and other social rituals. A lot of room rollers choose a church or temple room. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. I don't know why I thought I needed it. I would have done that much sooner. Maybe. No, definitely. I definitely would have done it much sooner. Yep. Mm-hmm. I definitely was not procrastinating. I absolutely was not. In fact... You suggesting that I was procrastinating is insulting. I should ban you for that. Participant count... Plus room impressiveness... Moral guy, social impact, convertees, expectations. S Very low is 10%, sky high is minus 30. Who are we banning? Uh, no, nobody. Yeah, moral guy, social impact, 150%. Uh, yeah. So we should try to convert Imes. And then... Probably have Imes be the leader. Been a bit of a long day, so you're heading off early tonight. Mutopian, sleep well. Rest and recuperate after your trip. Nice. Certainty fell to 50%. Hi, Reza. Hello, hello. Oh, I just need to remember to do that again. It will be available in 2.9 days, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to set a reminder. Conversion! To fire on 2.9 days. Let's say the 14th of Juggist. Jagust. I am really sore. Jess never procrastinates. She lets the world catch up to her. Yeah, let's go with that. Definitely, let, let's, let's go with that.
Me? Procrastinating? Never. I want to... I did not do that right. I want to expand the pen. Yeah, let's do that. Because with the amount of animals we have... I just... I don't have enough food. In the form of dandelions for them. So the way that I did that was... We did two... Three... And then... Three. Hi, Pelanova! Hello to you! How's it going? Yeah, so pretty much what I'm thinking is that we should probably let them go. Focus our efforts on Imes for now. Although their certainty fell a lot. Why is that? Never mind. I don't know why their mood fell so much. Or their uh, certainty fell so much. I was looking at the word mood, so I said it. Learning how to farm in Project Zomboid. You're farming zombies! Are the zombies behaving? Crisis of belief? I don't think I saw that. Yeah, we didn't even have a crisis of belief. I did them. Dandelions are far better than inferior lions. Dandelions are much better than... But I'm trying to find... What is the opposite of dandy? Fine and dandy. Don't know what the opposite word to dandy is. Dandy. Something very good or agreeable. Okay, so then what is an adjective? Adjectives. Uh, adjective, antonym. Shabby. I don't know about that. Dandy antonym. Antonym is a weird word. Four. Terrible. Awful. Lousy. Pathetic. Wretched. Ooh, wretched lions. Yeah. Dandy lions are better than wretched lions. Rotten lions? Lousy lions? Awful lions. I like lousy lions. Dandy lions are better than lousy lions. It's the same amount of letters and it still ends in a Y. Shabby lions. <laughs> Who suggested either poor or inferior? Yeah, because dandy could also be a reference to... I, I, I just saw it. I hear it used like... Fine and dandy, like to be excellent, but it also means of the very best kind. Or a man who affects extreme elegance in clothes and manners. You're not lying, they are. <laughs> Petty is the word it uses the opposite of dandy. That's the noun of dandy. Uh, mostly I hear it used as like... Yeah. Being... Excellent. Terrific. Wonderful. Lovely. Great. Awesome. Fine. Beautiful. Superb. Fabulous. Fantastic. Marvelous. Stellar. Hot. Prime. Or neat. That's how I heard it used, but I didn't know that it actually described... 
a man wearing excellent attire. Uh, so there was a corpse obsession. There should be a Benjamin somewhere. Has anybody seen Benjamin's body? The curious case of Benjamin's body. Oh yeah, we put him all the way down here. Who else does plants? Because nobody is growing devil strand down here and it's annoying. Roberto, cooking my fine meals? Do this. Dandelions equal hot lions. Dandies used to, used to be a stylish guy. I've only heard it. Fine and dandy. These take a long time to plant and I'm just surprised nobody's done it yet. I built this whole thing and like this, this lamp over here is just doing a whole lot of nothing. It's literally just wasting power. Thank you ads. You 100% wanted to see the same Southern Rail advert twice while living on the other end of England. Of course, how else would you know that th that's actually where you live? If it wasn't for the advertisement, you too might experience a crisis of belief. Crisis of belief in where you truly live. Yeah, so the escalator certainty is going up even more. Yeah, so Imes cannot do the converting. <laughs> I just noticed this is like an otter with fire coming out of his butt. That's a new favorite. <laughs> okay, I may or may not have new emotes coming soon. I may or may not. I may or may not have commissioned 10 new emotes. For emote slots that I don't have. But I want to swap out... I want to swap out some follower emotes. And put some emotes on Better Twitch TV. And swap out some of the lesser used normal emotes. Maybe like some of the tier 2s and 3s. Can become tier 1s. I don't know. We're gonna... We're gonna just... Yeah. We'll need new emote slots. Ten new emote slots? So many emotes! It's only 800 sub points to the next one. Which is, um... A little under 500 sub points away. So all we need is 500 people to sub real quick. That's easy, right? <laughs> Emote slots are actually incredibly hard to unlock. I didn't actually want you to do the entire area. You just, you're gonna leave that there? Okay. 20 new emote slots. Gosh, I don't even... I don't even know how many... How, how many... Okay. Partner emote slots. To get 10 new emote slots? So, okay. My next emote slot is would be 27. Wait, I lied. We only need 700 sub points. Since when? We're doing- no, I need 800. Yeah. I do need 800. Okay, so... Dang! You were telling me that we were up to 700 sub points and we didn't get to 800 to unlock the last slot? Jeez, okay, so yeah. The 27th emote would be at 800, and then the 28th would be at 9, and then the 29th is at 1,000. 
And then from there, it starts to go up every 200 subscribers. So to get 10 more emote slots, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We would need, uh, like, 2,000 sub points. Just 2,000 subs real quick. Or... 2, 000, what is 2,000 divided by 3? Sorry, 6. Or 333 tier 3 subs. <laughs> Let's round up. 200 and 334 tier 3 subs. <laughs> because uh, tier 1 subs are worth 1 sub point. Tier 2 subs are worth 2 points. And tier 3 is worth 6. So I think they're most the most cost effective sub. Because it's like five dollars per sub point, except it's only five. It w it's an extra sub point, basically. Because if if it's one sub point for a five dollar sub, two sub points for ten dollar sub, you would think it'd be five sub points for tier three, but it's actually. What are you attacking? My lover Benjamin died. Yeah, but it was by divided by six. I, I didn't mean to say three. Which is why it's 333. Because it's like, it's like this. I have no idea how this is going to paste in chat. So, like, a tier one sub is five dollars, a tier two is ten dollars, a tier three is... 25, so you get an extra sub point for every tier 3 sub. So it's the most cost effective method. Although it's not that cost effective at all. If you get a capybara, you shall submit the name Llama. Because <laughs> we have a llama named Capybara. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. One day. We will have somebody who will mine the room. Communicated too recently. We're down to 35%. I don't know if... Oh, maybe... Maybe Chum Lee just got more effective at converting people, even prisoners, because they're now the social leader. I'm gonna need to pay attention to see what the effectiveness is, because it was only like 5 or 6% before Chum Lee became the... the religious leader. But perhaps now that they, they are the religious leader, their attempts are more effective. Alistair 2! Electric Boogaloo! <laughs> if that name is drawn... I regret to inform you, I don't believe there's enough character limits in the name. For, for such a, an awesome name. I think you might have to come up with a shorter name that's just as effective. Okay, let's see how our animals are doing. Ugh, I'm just gonna slaughter all the rats. Because there are too many. How do I have a pregnant rabbit? Oh, because we have Asuka. We're about to have too many rabbits as well. Alright. Time to start sterilizing. We have a squirrel pet. I am fairly certain that you can sterilize the females when they're pregnant and it doesn't affect the pregnancy, although I don't think that works IRL, so don't try. Okay. 
配。That should do it. How much of the tile have you built on so far? You know, not much because... <laughs> not much is happening. Not much is happening, Reza. I think this might help a little bit because we'll have fewer animals like all around. Oh no, poor Carl. Poor Carl. They might wait until after birth. I don't know that they do. But I'm also not sure. I'd, I would believe you if you told me that. Yeah, so this is about how much the tile we've built on and a little bit down here. But again, not because... I'm trying to limit how much we're building. Just because it's taking forever. I don't really have many people that do construction, and I don't really have many people who mine either. Roberto does, but Roberto's the only cook. The escalator was was our, our builder, I think. No, they were they were the minor builder. They were doing the mining and the building, and they're just in prison. You're a very important member of this colony. I need you to come back to us. Let's see what this conversion is. Yeah, okay, so it's 11% now. It went from like 6% to 11%. So I think just having a religious leader... I don't know for certain. But I think it leads to a more effective conversion attempt. On lurk, stupid work lurk. What did you miss? Did we die? No. Actually, we gained three new colonists. And then we lost one. Because they ran wild, but they're in jail. Don't worry. Hopefully work's not too bad. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so we are going to sterilize the rabbits, George, because we have too many rabbits. We actually only have three, but we will have four. No, we could have a bison farm. Da, 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 da. Hi, Jim! Hello, hello, Jim. Thank you so much for the raid. You were playing some foundation. How was it? How's the game looking right now? Hello, everybody. Welcome on in. Hi, Shirley Rocks. Of course, Jim. And let me just pause this real quick. Maggie Megs, Alana, Lil Bites. Hello. Hi, Amy something. Hi, baseball girl. Daryl, AZ, Natalie. It's nice to see you all. Hello, welcome in. So many more things to it now. I haven't played... Foundation? Jeez, let me check my, my library. Since... What? It's been a while. July 6th, 2021. Almost two years ago. I am JKJXP. <laughs> Welcome then. Dude just giving you buffering problems all day and it also broke the raid. Ah, That happens to me far more often than I care to admit. Breaking the raids and stuff. I feel like every other raid of mine is broken. I'm sorry that you were having such a difficult stream. Welcome in. I really appreciate you coming over my way. I am just... We're playing RimWorld. And I'm trying to have a colony spread across the entire map. Rather than an, a cute little colony all squished up into the mountain. It's going to be a, a map-wide colony. And as you can see, we got some work to do. <laughs> we got a ways to go. I was just recounting before you got here about how we don't really have anyone to really build or to mine because they're in jail. The escalator's in jail being converted. 
I hope that you had a fantastic stream, Jim. And I hope that you all have fun with Jim too. Thanks for thanks for taking the time to come along with the raid and saying hi. Reminder conversion. Oh yeah. So we're we're, try we're trying to convert Imes because Imes has a really epic social skill of 15. And we learned by looking at the wiki that if your religious leader has better social, they're much more effective at, you know, being a religious leader. So I'm trying to convert Imes so that Imes can become the new religious leader. 48% to 13%. Nice. Hello, Alana. How are you doing? Welcome in. And chat, if you don't if you don't know Jim, I recommend that you give him a follow. He also plays a lot of indie stuff, but lately has also been building Legos and things. Legos and things. And he's a new dad. And... I was going to say Alana's a new mom, but I guess not so much anymore. I've lost track of all time, so I, I don't actually... <laughs> I don't actually know how long you've been a mom, Alana. But Alana is lovely as well. I recommend that you follow them both. And drop by and say hi when they're live. I sent another reminder for a conversion. It was a four-day cooldown or a three-day cooldown? I don't remember. Three-day cooldown. Conversion for the 18th of Jugus. That says five. Oh, right. <laughs> There's only 15 days in a quadra. <laughs> the 3rd of September. He's practically walking well on his way to toddler. 20 years later, Alana's a new mom, too. Yeah, like, what is time? Of course, Jim! Be well! And thank you, I will have a good stream. Do all the things. All the healthy after stream things. You hope we can also be on this platform being silly bus in 20 years? I'm... I'm not as optimistic as you, Alistair. I feel like Twitch won't be around in 20 years. Mostly for the same reason that, you know, like, all the other social media platforms are, are going down the tubes, like Facebook, and Reddit, and Twitter. I just expect that there's going to be... some shenanigans. I guess nobody built this yet. You didn't say you'll think it'd be the case. You just hope it can happen. I imagine something else will take its place. If nothing else. YouTube is about 20 years old. Yeah, realistically, it would be really nice if... YouTube upped their game, too. It made streaming a much more viable option on their platform. That'd be sweet. Let Twitch be the exception that trumps the rule of platforms going to crap. This might be too close to the political can of worms that my rules say we can't open, but I hate the word Trump now. <laughs> There's a lot of uses for the word Trump, but I just hate it. It's like a word that I would, like, I don't know, expunged from my, my vocabulary. <laughs> he ruined it for everyone. <laughs> you thought about it when writing it? It will see. Chat agrees. Yeah, 
Okay, this is ridiculous. I never research all this stuff. We really need to get... a high-tech research bench down. I guess I could just build it. And then move it later, although I hate doing that. It will never be played again. I don't even know what Top Trumps is, but it will never be played again. I mean, so there's also, like... Like, card game mechanics. Like, in spades and stuff, you can, you can trump. In spades, and... If I ever play spades again, I'm gonna have to come up with a different word. You don't think anything could convince you to move from Twitch to another streaming platform. All your channels are here, all your subjects are here, and all your bit emotes are here, etc. Um... What if... all of your favorite channels move to a different platform? Uh The funny conversations you've seen from, from the people who've been cursed with the same name as someone infamous. And though, whew, glad that's not me, Way. Yeah. It was a card game. Okay, so I've never heard of it. I don't think I can reinstall this light unless I take the walls down, which was the plan anyway, so... I'm expanding the... Hey, whatever happened to that Lynx? Oh, it's still here. Petulia. I'm the only channel you really watch. Do you just have, like, one follow... follow channel on your list, Ben? How is that even possible? <laughs> Did I just happen to be streaming on the right day? Or streaming the right game on the right day? Yay! The escalator was converted! I didn't think that would happen. Alright. So... that's exciting. I... I think we're going to release you now. And then... Continue to attempt to tame you. You follow most members of Halcyon, but you don't really watch much. <laughs> I think having a, a concise and short follow list is probably ultimately better than having a long one. But my follow list is so insanely long. Which is both, like, good and bad, you know? Like, it's... It's good to be able to keep, you know, like, tabs on people that I want to follow. Just for one reason or another. And, like, know when they're live and stuff, and... Like, all the people we've collaborated with over the years, and hot potatoes, and charity events, and other events, and whatnot. But the problem is, at any particular moment in time, I have so many people live, that I often miss channels that I'm actually interested in watching. There's a really popular StarCraft streamer called Trump. I think I would have changed my name. You only came to Twitch to find help with Factory Town years ago. Found the channel and now you're here. I only streamed Factory Town like two times then. Which is, that's kind of crazy. You remember most of the channels you used to watch on YouTube, now doing streams on Twitch. <laughs> it makes you grumpy because you don't like their content in stream format. Yeah, it's because in a lot of ways Twitch is much better. Depending on how you look at it. Because a Twitch stream is like fundamentally less work. That's not true across the board. But like you make your content in real time, rather than like recording and editing and then and then releasing it. And Twitch has tons of ways to encourage people to want to spend money on the platform. And YouTube just doesn't really have a very good live streaming structure. Like you can live stream on YouTube. I actually had to like Google the other day, how do I find a live stream on YouTube. <laughs> I tried. I looked all around and was like, I can't... Apparently there are live streams here and I can't find them. That's because it's not very intuitive to find. Right place, right time. 
<laughs> yeah, Subnautica. Subnautica. It's hard to know exactly how they rank your favorites because it's not the way you do. I think it's probably based on watch time. And also maybe a little bit based on... Colonist prisoner escaped. Oh yeah. Who let the escalator go? Where, where are you at? <gasps> Don't tell me you left the map. Did the escalator just walk off the map? Dang it. I hate it when they do that. Stupid. Yeah, I think they walk off the map. You've been using the previews extension and lets you mark your favorite streams. Hmm. Also, Kenna, hello! I... That was what I wanted to say. Like an hour ago or more when I was like, there was something that I wanted to say. It was... Hello, Kenna! <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Yeah, but the thing is... I think YouTube would be a really... A really good opportunity. Or they have a great opportunity for live streaming on their hands. Like, I know that they have it. It's not nearly as ubiquitous... As Twitch is. But... They're, like, really the only platform that can truly compete. Okay, we're being raided by the psych lineup. Okay, this is our first raid that's, like, more than two people. Oddly enough. There's two of them down here, and... There were five of them up there. And, oh, more down here. I have really bad defenses. You just looked up YouTube live streams and the categories are too broad to be useful to you. Yeah. It costs a lot of money and maybe hurts advertising rates. YouTube had a gaming site and app years ago, which was exactly like Twitch and then they removed it. As far as I understand it, Twitch is pretty expensive to run. I don't know how expensive, mind you, but... I don't- I don't do the books for Twitch, so I don't know. Okay, so this is a pretty big raid, and we don't really have good defenses, so we might have to cheese it a little bit. Also, I'm very upset that we converted the escalator, and then they walked off the map. I am half tempted to just reload and autosave. Because I ADHD'd right into the problem of them having left the map. You're okay with that. I just don't know when they wandered off. Let's try autosave one. Although, then we don't get to do the fun raid! I'm sure something worse will happen shortly. Rather than... You're okay with the safe scum event? Well, chat approves. I'm just mad that I let them out of jail because I was gonna try to tame them and they just walked away. Raid replaced by a toxic fallout. Yeah, okay, so we marked you for... Did we finish converting you? No. No, we did not. Because with the dominant platform like Twitch in the market that already holds most viewers, the cost of entry is too much. I know, but Twitch really needs a competitor, and YouTube is the only one I feel like that can really be a true competitor. And they could do so much with it. Like, think about all the... the... Like right now, people do a lot of... Whoa. Yay! 
Conversion. Okay, great. Like the process of streaming to Twitch and then converting that content into YouTube, like it would be so easy just to like integrate the two together right there on the same platform. Imagine if like clips became searchable YouTube videos and stuff. I mean, those are called shorts, but <laughs> they're shorts generated right on their platform. Okay, so we know a raid is coming. Maybe we should prepare more defenses. Because right now my defenses, it, there's just some doors in a sandbag. You do it all the time in your city builders. Walled some farmers into a field once and they all starved. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we'll see. Let's expand some areas. I bet you we do get a toxic fallout now. That would be super annoying. Like, just incredibly annoying. It's a large investment. Yeah, I know. Right. So this time, I'm going to release you and pay attention to what we are doing. Who's the best animal handler? Imes? Imes is the best handler. Of course Imes is the best handler. Don't put them all the way out there. That's how they got lost. Okay. Okay. This is good. Yeah, drop them off on the corner. Okay, yeah, the escalator is escaping. So... Why are they considered an escaped prisoner if I just released them? It also says that... They're an independent wild man. But I cannot try taming them. Animal interacted too recently. Yeah, why are they still considered a prisoner? Male cult isn't this prisoner. Can I release them again? No. They are still considered a prisoner. That's odd, is it? Maybe it's because they're dropping them off in my home zone. Okay, hold on. Let's reload real fast. Sorry, chat. Sorry. I'm trying to figure this out. We did autosave one. Try no interaction and then release. What kind of ice cream do you have, Spark Arrester? Hmm. Huh. Some colonists are worse than useless. <laughs> wow, Rimworld, way to be all judgy and stuff. Okay, let's do the conversion. Coffee ice cream. Does coffee ice cream have caffeine? I have just regular coffee. Can't believe Solentre is still not back. OMG, hurry up. Conversion. You're getting yourself an iced coffee. Yeah. 
No interaction. Release. Okay. Let's save here. Are you ties releasing our prisoner? Maybe he went off on an adventure with the cat. I mean, he did. He went to, you know, take him to the vet, but like, did something happen? Is it just a long day? Is he already on his way home? I don't know! Yeah, maybe, maybe it's because... I, I don't know, just research stuff. Prisoner, the escalator is escaping. Hijacked the car and is on the way to the border. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now I just have a mental image of a, of a cat driving a car, like wildly trying to reach the border. I don't know how the pedals would be pressed. Why? The prisoner of the escalator is escaping. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we don't get... We don't get uh, to arrest them for free twice. In cartoons, it takes two cats to drive a car. Oh, melee level four. Did you see that? Yeah, one cat has to press the pedals. But there's only one cat, as far as I'm aware. Okay, I guess let's... Prioritize taking to bed. Taking wounded prisoner. Why is it... I, I mean, that's why they booked it off the map. And also why we had the negative mood of a pr prisoner escaped. Because it's not... Maybe... Oh, maybe I need to cancel the tame order and then release them? Don't use the good medicine! I guess I can't move. Cat drives, one dog for each pedal. <laughs> I bet Emmy would be the one that uh, you presses the gas pedal because you know Emmy go go. Oh my gosh! Look, they finally made the smithy. Finally, this has been here for far longer than I care to admit. We could also make a mace for Solentre, but I think I'm just going to make one for Meep. Okay. So I, I don't know why... ...this is happening. This is- this is not a problem I've encountered before. Basically, when I try to release this prisoner from jail, it doesn't consider him as being released, but instead being escaped. Which is odd. Yes, yeah, so remember what I was saying about defenses? We probably want to make those. I guess we could build turrets. I haven't built turrets in a long time. Let's build turrets. That sounds like fun. Do, do, do. Yeah, we're building turrets. Can we tame them inside the prison? No, you can't.
You can't tame them inside the prison. I don't think, because they're a prisoner. So... Well, maybe you can. I don't, I don't know. A car with one pedal... One pedal drive might be easier for pets to operate. Just to be clear, I... Wouldn't let my pets drive the car. I don't recommend that. Hello, Lido! Do you, do you like my command there, which is very non-descriptive? Oh wait, never mind. Yes, that's, that's for the challenge game. I was actually referring to... This one, which is very non-descriptive. This is also a challenge. But the, the first one, the first command is referring to the new game that we need to replace Cuphead. Because we finished Cuphead, and we finished the Cuphead DLC, so... Um, you all have been asking for a challenge game for a while, and I agreed to it as a charity reward. Never mind that it's been a couple months. That Jess doesn't procrastinate after all. But we need to make a game. So I'm, I'm taking some feedback. Where did- where did the escalator go? Where did they go? Oh, okay, we're let- <laughs> Oh no, Imes is like, I don't know what to do! Are we releasing them or not? I'm broken! Ah! <laughs> oh, Imes. I think we may have encountered the bug. It's been a long time since I had a Rimworld bug. It's probably a mod conflict of some sort. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. We can make exclamation challenge answer randomly one of the two questions to make things less confusing. Yes, that would of course make things less confusing. Lantre failed. And wasted resources. Okay, so you just gave up on it? <sighs> Wait. Cannot tame because no food. Mm. OMG. I'm encountering a small issue, chat. I don't really know what to do. Hi, Mr. Joda. Good to see you as well. I am... I am doing all right. Okay, so maybe I should remove the tame option and then see if we can release them. I am doing okay. Are we out of food? We are in no way out of food. What, how, how, what do you mean? How do you mean we have no food? Is it the water freezes that's confusing them? I don't know. I don't know how to tell them just to like drop them off somewhere else. So they're... I think they're trying to put the prisoner there. Because it's... Maybe, maybe we should do this actually and like fill this in as home zone. And then maybe they'll try to drop them off like over here instead. Like that. Also, the first thing I want to do is cancel the tame order, and then we can try releasing and still see if that's considered. Um. Whatever. I, I don't even know what to call this. I don't even know what to call this bug. You have to go to bed early. Neurological test tomorrow morning, and you're anxious for bad news. <gasps> good luck, Lido. Good luck. I hope that you get good news, not bad news. Hi there, Zion. Also sleep well, Lido. Remember when you were a colonist in one of Jim's streams and became wild? 
He captured you and tamed you in the prison. Cannot tame animal downed. I'll try. Let's just, um, oops, don't do that. Let's just say no interaction. Hello, Rumshackle! Yes, we, I, I am looking for input on what game we should play next for, for our challenge streams, because it used to be Cuphead, but we finished Cuphead and the DLC, so now I need a new game to play. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is, on no interaction, attempt to tame. It's already told me that it failed a few times, and I don't remember why. One was no food, the other is animal downed. Another was animal interacted with too recently. You do not know any of these games because they're hard. <laughs> they're hard, and I, I think not everybody's cup of tea. Back to Darkest Dungeon. That's not exactly, like, Cuphead level challenging. What all did I put on the list? Uh, Super Meat Boy, I didn't really hear about either, but I've heard from a number of people that that would be a good game to replace Cuphead. Um... It's a precision platformer, which sounds awful. Um, Shovel Knight is another platformer. Under the Gungeon is a... Like a bullet hell type game. Fury... Is a hack and slash... Bullet hell shoot em up. Then Blasphemous is like a really dark... Metroidvania. So, all of my, my best genres, you know? Bullet hell, platforming, hack and slash... Super Meat Boy would be perfect. We'll cast your vote if you haven't done so. If you're gonna do a rage platformer, do Bread and Fred. <laughs> yeah, but I think Super Meat Boy is... Maybe a bit more identifiable to some people? ZK3! That's not a challenge game either! Oh yeah, Super Fantasy Kingdom! We played that on Friday. It was a lot of fun. I liked it. So if I also wanted to get rid of this corner piece right here... I would need to build the wall like that, right? So a weird little nook. Then that should allow me to take the extra corner out right here and right there. No, I'd also have to build right here. Right? You can, um, you can go back and watch the VOD. I'll also put it on YouTube at some point. I'm like, incredibly behind on uploading YouTube videos. Or publishing YouTube videos, I'll put it that way. Hi, Yannick! I hope you're having a good time zone as well. Hello to you. Yeah, that looks right. I'm gonna run out of things to research. <laughs> I'm gonna run out. Boop. 
don't boop me. It's okay, you booped Alistair. Boop. Yeah, that's right. Boop. I think these rooms look better. The middle section is kind of weird. Boop. But... It would make a perfect chimney if I could... Ooh, I just had an idea. I just had an idea about how we could build a chimney. I need a plan. So, like, the chimney... We'd have to... Let's use yellow. Let's use pink. So that would be the cooler. So the wall would have to... Basically work like that. And then it would pump cool air here, and we could build vents there and there. I think... That's a weird use of space. Commander Red, thank you so much for the 100 bits! Jez love. Jez love to you! Thank you so much for the support, Commander Red. I hope you're having a good time zone. Okay. I'm feeling very impatient with this whole prisoner thing. Because there's so much we need to do, but I can't do it because I re you're kind of integral. With your building and your mining. Look how little has been mined. Like, I think nothing has been mined since they ran wild. Except for the stuff I've forced. You love the song that just started in the game? It is called On the Surface! Mostly yes, but it's still so warm. You should go to bed soonish. It's really warm for us, too. Bed could be good. Not for me, but, you know, just in general. Just in general, bed could be good. Hi, Magnificent Mitch! Thank you very much for the raid! Hi, QB Dev! Hello, hello, welcome in! How was Cisco Elysium? Thanks so much for the raid and welcome in, everybody! I am Jess and we're playing some RimWorld and nothing is happening. That's not true. There's, there is stuff happening, but mostly just a chill day on the Rim. How was Cisco Elysium? I actually tried playing that somewhat recently with my husband, but we encountered a bug. And I don't remember what that bug was, but we weren't able to play it. <laughs> Excuse me. Taking it slow with the game, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Okay, now we're... Now we're being raided by the Ban Biddies clan. <laughs> I forgot about the Ban Biddies clan. You're not allowed to cheer when the Ban Biddies clan attacks. But this time, it's only four raiders, where we had like ten with guns and stuff. Now we've only got four. And it's, they're all melee. Yeah, it, it was something to do like with trying to cast it on the stream deck. I don't, I don't remember. But the little bit that I saw of it, it was weird. It was really weird. So I, I hope that... You're enjoying your time. So weak. Conversion! Chumley- oh, Chumley's really far. Loot alert? What's- what was loot alert? What did that say? I didn't say anything. 
Okay, we're gonna have everybody go and hide in the hide zone. And also take this out again. This is like the third time I've done this. It's pretty nice. You love the stories you find when just exploring. I've heard it's an amazing game. And I'm really curious. Just uh, it broke. I don't know. If there's a bug in the game, I will encounter it. But recently, that seems to be the case. It's like the, the curse has been inflamed. Okay, wait, before you do that, I need you to come convert items. Jum Lee has converted items to not a cult of unity. Heck yes. FG passed it on to me. She did. She did. She did. Oh. How'd that happen? How did we get an alpaca? In oh, they're here. <laughs> By the way, they're here. I missed the whole, hey, you're being attacked bit. Get him the end of the year. Okay, um, you know what? Just stand right here. Yeah, 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 just stand there. I will block the doorway. And Meep will block that doorway. Okay. I believe we'll be alright. All right, they're fleeing. And seeing as we are a charitable colony, I'm gonna rescue them. I'm not even gonna look at them. I'm just gonna rescue them. Capture. The rest of them are are, are not alive. Yeah, no, they're not alive. You didn't you didn't capture them. Oh, right, because I've... I, I gotta turn this back into a prison cell. Um, capture. Cannot reach. Oh. I know what it is. We don't... They're not... They're unrestricted. Not unrestricted. So they can't actually reach them. Now capture? Did I not tell that... Set that to prisoners only? Capture. <laughs> rescue them, put them in the freezer, potato, potato. No, I'm really gonna rescue them. I really am. We are a charitable colony. Our ideology, which is a feature that was implemented with... Not the most recent Rimmel DLC, but the, the, the two, two DLCs ago. Our ideology believes in being charitable. And I kind of consider rescuing raiders be charitable, you know, when we can. Maybe that's wrong. It was a nice lurk. You're very welcome, Capybara. Thank you for being here today. I need to switch this back to heal root or just put it on heal root at all. Man, I'm stuffy. I'm gonna text Celentre and see if he's okay. To be fair, the 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 place is very far away. It's very far off. So, he could just be driving. Alright. So. E. Col this, this, this prisoner's name is E. Kolu. Mbiesh. They believe in beastism. They're a kind pessimist. Who is psychically dull. 
likes art, animals, and plants. Okay, sounds good to me. Let's convert them to our ide ideology. Hey, yo, Solendra, you still alive? <laughs> Don't say it like that, Commander Rudd. Don't say it like that. It's a scary drive. Sometimes, but not always, I fear for my life while making this drive. Alright. So they're still sleeping... ...and downed. But once they're no longer sleeping, I do want to try taming them. What do you mean there's no food? I'm just being slightly dramatic, Commander Rudd. But actually, there's been some scary incidents. What do you eat? Let's let's start with that question. As a wild human, you eat vegetables, raw meat, corpses, seeds, animal products, meals, processed food, liquor, and kibble. Because it goes through the mountains, or because it goes through the hood? Because it goes through a highway where, where people are really nuts. Yeah, highway or uh, um, uh, mountain driving is pretty scary too. I don't know why it says animal skill too low. Who's the best animal handler? Wit has a 10, Chumley has an 8, Times has a 10. How is there no food? Hi there, Landry Gaming! Um, okay, yes, I realize this is confusing. So, regarding what we're doing in Room World, this is the description for that. The exclamation challenge is referring to the new challenge game that I'm looking forward to replace Cuphead. The shuttle has a... Oh yeah, I forgot about Petulia. That was an animal we were caring for who's kind of just sitting around. Where's the shuttle? There it is. There we go. Carry them to the shuttle. We need raw food to tame, and we need at least 20 raw food to tame, but we do have raw food. We have rice. Does it have to be meat? Surgery on alpaca one failed. Maybe it has to be meat. Okay, so we'll send Imes to go hunt, I guess? Wait, so really they'll- they'll eat the meals, but they won't- you can't tame them with the meal. That seems kind of funny! <laughs> like, oh yeah, we've got fine meals in this colony, but... I know that what you really want contains Petulia. Okay, we can launch that. This was a quest that I did. For Lynx sitting, yeah, for the Grey Empire. For 15 goodwill. So we just had to watch this Lynx for like 20 days. And that par paralytic ablesia? I think that's what it's called. Which basically means that they can't move. The raw food is ready. If the raw food is ready to be made into meals, it's already assigned. Yeah, I, I guess that's, that's a good point. Um... It just seems... It seems funny to me, I don't know. Like, I could... feed you... raw food. 
Or... Instead of doing that... What we could really do is just give you some nice, fresh meat. <gasps> fresh meat. Look at me, I'm the butcher now. Can you believe this? You had the same issue. You fixed it by clicking on the capture pawn and setting their food restriction to one that allowed raw food. Oh. Is that the problem? Happy Bear is confused because anesthetic. I too was confused when I was on anesthetic. I asked the... the... The dentist? The orthopedic... Orthopedic? No. The name of a... Mouth surgeon? Is escaping my mind right now? Anyways, I asked them if I could keep my wisdom teeth and they were like, no. You cannot. Hey, they're up. Okay. So... <gasps> it works. Maybe you're right. I don't know if it was... I guess it was the food allowance. You killed the butcher yesterday with help. It was mostly <laughs> the with help that did it. I started... I started a new character in D4, Diesel Lily. And this character had never been to a dungeon before. I went into a cellar. My very, very, very first cellar. And... Encountered the butcher. Orthodontist. Is it an orthodontist? It is a jaw surgeon, but they have a proper name. Yeah, so I just booked it on Out of the Cellar. <laughs> so mean of the game. Yeah, so the Butcher can spawn in cellars in, in Diablo 4. Not just dungeons, also cellars. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. So yeah, we can tame them. You can tame them in jail, you're just having a lot of issues. And why is nobody cleaning? This place is a mess. Downright mess. Which should be cleaning? What are you doing instead? Hunting? Hunting is good, too, I guess. It took Jim a while to get you back. Yeah, well, thanks for helping me figure it out. I was trying to release them, and it was being really buggy about that, too. I don't know why. Cleaning animal filth. Yeah, we are. Maxillo facial surgeon. <laughs> I, I don't remember. It doesn't really matter, but it was it was the person who removed my wisdom teeth. And when I was on the anesthetic, I woke up. I was very confused. First off, because I had just remembered them like sticking me with the gross needle and telling me to to count down from ten. And then I was waking up to the nurses having a conversation about something, and I was super confused. Like, where am I? It was the weirdest feeling. And my mouth hurt really bad. <laughs> and the first thing I did was just stick my hand in my mouth and like just start poking around like, ooh, this feels weird. And he, the doctor ran over and was like, don't do that. <laughs> like, why not? My face feels funny. Can I keep my teeth? No, you can't. Keeping your your wisdom teeth after surgery is apparently a highly requested feature. But nobody's patched that in yet. The escalator has an artery blockage. Is this a problem? 
I mean, yes. I guess we need new hearts and new kidneys and new feet and new eyes. We just need to... You need the whole suite. Hi, Daruba. You got your wisdom teeth extracted while fully awake. It was weird but kind of fun. Was it just one tooth? Or all of them? That's scary. I got... I was put under for it because I not only had to get my teeth pulled out, but I also had to get, like, bone grafting done. And something else, too. I talked about it extensively at the time, but I don't remember what it was now. Bone grafting? That is when they take, like, donor tissue. And... Stick it to your other your your bones, basically. This is like an explain like I'm five version of this. It's <laughs> not this simple, but yes, taking taking donor tissue and using it as a a scaffold, basically, to grow your actual bone around. I did it to my jaw, so like I have somebody else's donor tissue in my in my mouth. But it, it was because of... Specifically, like, when they took my teeth out, just... My my bottom jaw was going to be too thin. In, like, in the back. Because my wisdom teeth were only really erupting, like, up top and not the bottom. But they wanted to take all four out because they were all impacted. And so removing the bottom two wisdom teeth, like, made my jaw extremely vulnerable in those two spots. So they, they, they did bone grafting to strengthen the bone, basically. And they have to do one other thing. I know that I shouldn't be the one to remember what it was, but... I don't. <laughs> so that is why... I got... I got to go under for my wisdom teeth removal. You can keep some of them. The ones that are still attached to you after surgery. Yeah. The doctor was like, you know, I get that question a lot. Oh, inspired taming. That's perfect. Inspired taming means it's an automatic success. Thanks to a high mood, Wood has experienced an inspiration. She will successfully tame the next animal regardless of difficulty. Heck yes. just what we needed. Also, we had a visitor who left us stuff. I don't even know what this is. An elephant leather slave collar. Oh, it's a slave collar. In case you were curious. All right, new recruit, the escalator. Yay, you're back. But now you need new body parts and stuff. You still have, you don't. You do not still have your work priorities. That is unfortunate because I don't remember what you were assigned to, my friend. Except mining and construction. Calling? A okay, five in shooting or a six in melee. Yes. I guess we'll put you here in the lineup. I just don't, I don't have enough weapons. You know what? For the in the meantime, just take this axe. My axe. I did that to my teeth. I did it to my jawbone. Yeah, it was it was my jaw. Hi, Dice Cocoon. Am I really sure they need to remove all four? You have your doubts. Well, they already did, so... <laughs> I'm fairly... <laughs> fairly certain that happened. I was in, like, October or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One parka costs 80 fabrics, so we can make... I don't know, like, three parkas out of Devil Strand. We're also gonna need some more helmets. One, two, two helmets. Four noggins. It was pretty lucky. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that they're back, to be quite honest. Because... Reasons. <laughs> Descriptive, I know. You're probably gonna have to have some wisdom teeth removed, you're guessing. A lot of people do. It's, I think, far more common to need wisdom teeth removal than it is to not need it. You have four other teeth removed, and they let you keep them, but your mom found them and threw them away! Ah, uh, I really wanted my wisdom teeth. Cilantro showed me a picture of somebody's wisdom teeth after they had them removed on Reddit, and they had, like, the longest root. Also, uh, I guess, however, a cool souvenir that I got from the whole thing was a picture of my skull. They didn't physically give me a picture of my skull, but they left up the x-rays and everything that had, like, a very in-depth look at the structure of my head and, like, all the bones and stuff. I took pictures of it because it was fascinating. So now I've got, you know, just some pictures of my my head without the skin and the um, organs and 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 muscles and blood and, and stuff. <laughs> you have way too many photos of the inside of your head. One of them was pretty silly because it was like up on a wall. They had like the fancy television and everything. And I lined it up perfectly so like my torso and my shoulders and everything lined up. And my neck lined up with the picture of the skull. <laughs> and the angle that I took it at just looked like my head had been replaced by a skull. And I sent it to Solandre and was like, I'm a, I'm a skeleton now. Boo. <laughs> How did they put everything back together? For... for what? For... What are you referring to specifically, Doruba? You recently had an MRI for your brain and you can look at the images online. You can look at your brain? I'm going to give this double shrimp parker to Meep. Because Meep is the only person in this colony who does melee fighting. Oh wait, the escalator does as well. And Devil Strand. If you don't know about Devil Strand, it's a it's a sneaky little fabric. It takes a long time to grow, a long time to plant, and they're really annoying about planting it. But Devil Strand parkas, just Devil Strand in general, is a really, 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 really strong fabric. So, like, I got a bolt of Devil Strand here. So, it's fabric spun from the microfibers extracted from Devil Shen mushrooms. It is very tough, good at insulation, and protects exceptionally well against flame. So, it has a ton of sharp armor, a fair deal of blunt armor, but a ton of heat armor as well. So, it's really, really, really good to make your clothes out of Devil Shen. It takes forever, though. So, like, to fully outfit a colony in Devil Shen, I would say, t probably takes years. But, like, comparing... Ooh. I don't know if anybody else has a good parka on. Yeah. Okay, so this cloth parka. The cloth parka. Good. 86% durability. Look at the look at the apparel stats right here. 8.3% 8, 8 sharp armor, 4.1% heat armor, and literally no blunt armor. None whatsoever. 8.3 and 4.1. So then Meep is wearing a good quality. Double strand parka, we've got 32.2% sharp armor, 8.3% blood armor, and 69% heat armor. So if you can like get them fully outfitted in double strand, you pretty much don't really need armor. I mean of course armor is preferable in these cases. But as as far as preventing people from being stabbed, double strand is pretty great for that. Hi Ren! I hope you've been well, long time to no see! Oh, image of the skull without the organs and skin. Yeah, how do you put it back? I got you now. Pictures of your brain, Vandalier. 
Your brain. Brains. You fell asleep. Welcome back. I hope you slept well. Take this wall out, dang it. Just do stuff. Surprise yes! nap pipe. I'm going to have to start speaking like I was singing in a metal band because was I... Was I in a metal band in your dream? The result of the scan gave you a big relief because you didn't... They didn't find anything wrong. That is good. That is good. I have like a weirdly... I, I think like paradoxical is not the right word. I'm gonna use it. I have a weird paradoxal hope <laughs> from the test I did. So I, I did a... They did 18 blood tests. Not, not... They didn't take 18 vials of blood. They did 18 different blood tests on me. And they also... I also submitted like a food panel test, like basically to see my immune reactions to different types of, of food and whatnot. And I'm really hoping that it comes back with something, like, something straightforward, hopefully, and manageable, and easily fixed. <laughs> or just comes back with anything, you know, because I've been having bouts of feeling really sick and really ill, and it's like on and off, and up and down, and affecting the, my quality of life. And if... If the blood test comes back and is like, you're fine. And the food thing comes back and is like, you're fine. Then... It's gonna be kind of disheartening. If you know what I mean. So in that way, I'm, I'm sort of hoping... For... Test results. Like a deficiency. Or, or something, you know? And it's probably just stress. That's what you keep finding. Well, they're even testing my stress hormones. So if it is stress, that it should be reflected in the test results. I know that's kind of like weird to say. Like I got some tests done. I hope something's wrong. And I just want to clarify that I don't want to be like sick or anything for the sake of being sick. But after just feeling roller, like having roller coasters of, of physical health, I hope that, like, the test reveals the issue and allows me to address the root cause. And what I really don't want is to go to the doctor and be like, There's no root cause! You are just broken! <laughs> this is actually just baseline normal. And you suck. Because you're baseline normal, you can't function like other people. Your mother has something similar. She wants the doctor to say, Yes, we found out why you're feeling miserable, even if it's actually bad news. Better than always wondering. Well... Of course, like, nobody wants bad news. But... The flip side... Is that even if it is bad news, like, you can hopefully, like... Hopefully, anyways... Be able to make lifestyle adjustments. You know what I mean? You can make lifestyle adjustments, you can make... Uh, changes. Just things that you need to, to help alleviate the problem. And you can make more, better informed decisions. Even if it is bad news, better to know than to not know and be miserable and probably get worse. Yeah, exactly. Okay, there's some stuff happening. Transport pod crashes, conversions, lovers, let me catch up with chat. Human bodies are poorly designed. They really are. Yeah, that's right, it's a roadmap. Your mother had MS, and for years I couldn't figure out if it was MS. Ugh. It must have been really hard. 
Hi, Dill, Dill Vibes. Hello. Searching for an answer to an existing health issue, not wishing for a new one. Yes, that's a good way of putting it. That, that's a very good way of putting it. That's what I mean. There we go. Thank you. Hoping for an answer, not wishing for a new problem. It's common for American doctors. You've been struggling with chronic fatigue and pain for over 10 years and they shrug their shoulders. I know they do! I know. Hi, Aru's Rune. I hope you're well. Excited to see you know the chronic fatigue and pain. So, I'm, I'm like kind of excited for the appointment, although I don't know if my blood test will get back in time because how long does it actually take to process 18 blood tests? I imagine quite a while. I think I'm just gonna make this whole area like rice. I don't know why I have two different zones. No, 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 no. If we're doing that, we should do potatoes. Control Z? Doesn't work. <laughs> Didn't work. Doesn't work like that. Okay, shrink. Potatoes don't mind it if the, the soil is not that fertile. Rice does. So if we're gonna do this, we're going, we're going potatoes. I'm okay with still planting some rice, though. And I'm stuffy today. Who else is stuffy? Allergies are just... annoying. There is some fertile grow zone over here, but I'm still gonna put potatoes here. And don't worry, it defaults to potatoes. I don't, I don't even have to do any... fancy schmancy management. We just go boop, grow his own. Boop, boop. Good night, MJ. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good day tomorrow. I, I hope your girlfriend finds finds the solutions. I hope so. Probably not long. Oh, I guess it would be different text, yeah. No, thank you! Enjoy your Wednesday. Oh yeah, oh, I forgot about Donnie. Ooh! This is a charity incident. Oh no! Donnie's suffering from paralytic abasia. I didn't... Oh! Oh, he just shows up. I thought that, like, it was a transport pod crash. I had to go rescue him. A pyromaniac with a chemical interest. Intellect. Oh, a minor. So, paralytic abasia. A neurological condition that makes a person unable to walk. Patients recover naturally, but the process is slow. I think you can treat it with multiple bouts of industrial strength medicine. But I don't know for certain. Not like we have a ton of medicine. West active. Mech cluster with a toxic spewer. Dang it! A toxic spewer machine blanketing the whole region of poison and there's a mech cluster. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's a mech cluster. Does that mean my, my tile is going to have a toxic fallout? I don't want that. Meep tried to romance Vandalier by complimenting his parents. Vandalier responded well, it is now Meep's lover. It looks like they don't want to share a room, though. This is a tower building for the Great Empire. They're requesting we build a mon monument to commemorate the height of <laughs> Valens's mother. Okay. I'm gonna take Goodwill. 
Toxic Fallout, let's go! No! We were right about the Toxic Fallout in exchange for saves coming. This is just not what I expected. It's Toxic Fallout plus Mechanoids! Two of the worst things in RimWorld. At once. I, I don't really know what to research. I, I'm want to turn one of these into a lab, but they're not digging. They're just not digging. Did they ever make another mace? No. So who's the smith? Vandalier? Missing 50 metal or wood? You firmly believe there is a thing in the code that gives you a toxic fallout if you save scum. I save scum a lot, and I don't have many incidents of toxic fallouts. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Oh, Donnie, we, ha we do have to rescue Donnie. We do. I don't know, let's send, I guess, Lentre? No, let's send Iams. So, yeah, it's a toxic fallout on the map. That's so annoying! I feel like I have no choice but to just go handle it right now. It's far more work. It's not far... Is this actually how the tile's gonna look? I don't have bed rolls or anything, though. Not really a big deal. <sighs> I don't want to do this right now. <laughs> I don't want to do this. This is this is the the point. If I was playing off stream, where I'd be like, I am going to deal with this later. But I don't have that luxury. Dang it, chat. Ugh. We could send... Meep? Is Meep the person missing a leg? Nope. We could send Meep. And we could send... Vandalier? I just don't know how many mechs there are gonna be. Jeez, Emmy. Quest active. What if we just save this for another time? And future me is gonna hate it. But I just, I don't wanna do it right now, chat. It does not tell me how many mechanoids there are. For future Jess, I know the next time I load up the game, I'm gonna be like, hmm, what were we doing, chat? Oh yeah, a toxic spewer. Brownie, grumpy face. This is the face I'll make. 